four. Have you seen my girlfriend? She's a straight up smoke show. Oh my God. People are really gonna act like this is totally acceptable behavior. You really think that like, dressing down your boss's insecurities in a public stream. It's like, yeah, no, go right ahead. Good luck with that, you know? I'm really off what I do. Yeah, you're coping. I mean, now you're just coping. No, you're coping. You're in here f***ing crying because everybody's you're just you once again. No, you were everybody's wrong. Got exposed. Again. You got you exposed. You did a horrible <laughs> job at a f***ing docket. Well, so just take the L. That, that L is going to you because you are officially fired. And yeah, like, I'm, no I'm, me. I'm, yes, you are. I'm, I have a new editor. I'm, act <laughs> I'm not fired. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Basically, Lol Cow Live has got a little bit of a reputation for kind of embellishing drama and stuff like that. And I've spotted things where I'm like, oh, I don't know if this is actually legit. The biggest one for me was the boogie plagiarism thing, where it just seemed very much like there'd been a bit of jiggery pokery to make that plagiarism drama happen. OK, and there was stage stuff going on and whatnot. Right. So it's like the boy who cried drama. And so now... This comes up, apparently Connor, who I spoke to Connor over the um, Caleb Hammer stuff a little while ago. Nice guy. I've, uh, you know, my conversation with him is very friendly. Seems like a good dude. But basically he was the editor for Low Cow Live. And there was a little bit of drama that happened previously where he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. Apparently getting paid 2K a month and was, you know, criticized for that or something. Anyway, now apparently Keemstars fired him. So we're gonna we're gonna have a little listen. I don't know if we're gonna watch every single second of this. We'll see what Connor's got to say. Maybe skip forward a bit. And uh, he also then went on to Dick Masterson and Vito's podcast, Biggest Problem in the Universe, to speak about the drama too. So we'll dig into it and see what's going on. Um, and then later, I've got a couple of uh, our reviews to do. So we've got some more stuff to look at. Maz asked me if I got fired from Walk Alive because oh. uh, Q was whining about it tonight. I don't know if uh, you watched any of that. You know, no one, no one really watches that. <laughs> I don't watch a lot. I've been, I've been very busy. I'm actually like catching up on internet drama right now. Yeah. Because I, I, I've kind of been out of the loop. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he had me throw together a docket like last minute. By the way, Keem's one and only job on the show is to set up a live stream once a week. That's like all he does, right? Yeah. And so he pushed it off yesterday. He said, um, I don't know what's going on. We'll just do it tomorrow. Pushed off to tomorrow. Then he calls me. He's like, bro make a docket for me. I don't know what's going on. Make a docket. I'm like, okay. I throw a couple things together. It's not a lot, but it's plenty to go over. You got like an hour of content. Here, let me just, let me just send it to you actually. Hold on. And honestly, you can. Bro. Okay. Making a docket for an hour's worth of content is simple. Okay. Like I have to make a docket. I mean, I don't really do a docket as such, but I just get a list of all the things that I'm going to talk about in my bookmarks. <laughs> and that takes top end at most two hours and that's if it's a bit slow and there's not much going on. So I've got to have a look around to see what I want to talk about, you know? Making a docket for an hour's worth of content is like a 10 minute job, okay? Especially when there's like stuff about Boogie and Wings constantly fucking swirling. And then, yeah, on top of that as well, it's not even his fucking job. Like apparently Keemstar's supposed to do it. Dude, like just, just pull together a few things. It takes, it's quick for an, an hour. Especially when you've got multiple people. Like if you're doing a solo show, you're the fucking talking. You're the one doing it all. Talking, etc. If you've got a group of people, that's even easier. Here's a thing. Talk about that for 15 minutes. Here's another thing. Talk about that for 15 minutes. Boom, 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 boom. Jesus, man. What the fuck is going on? I could even read some of these because they're actually super funny. <laughs> but it's a pretty good amount of content. It is okay, like... Uh... We're leaking the lock out live. <laughs> he, he, went over on, he went over it on stream. Uh -huh. So it starts off like, Keem's serving this hilarious post about how much he doesn't want to fuck Grace Thorpe. Like he wrote a paragraph. I don't know if you know Grace Thorpe. She's that one like younger, like 20-year-old yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, who... it's the one where he did the bit with her where he was like in his underwear doing like a reaction video and you could see it in the mirror or something. Yes, and he made a whole post around it. It was so fucking funny. I was dying reading that post and he got ratio to shit. Like he had zero upvotes on it. He had 72 comments. If you want to just read, the, just read this post, it's actually just so good. <laughs> Real Keem at Keemstar. I don't want to fuck Grace, you retards. I don't know why this Reddit is so obsessed with saying Keem only wants to That's fuck funny. Grace. That's funny. Only wants Grace Yo. on the show to fuck her. One, I had them on the show the first time because there's... Sorry, I, w I was <laughs> seeing if this was posted on April 1st. Is he, like, joking? No, this is real. So this is, this real? is serious. He's actually mad. He's asked about the Reddit, yeah. He's mad at people memeing in the LOL Cow Live 
chats and communities. Yes. Like, look yes. at the banner. This is a joke. Like, th this show, obviously, like, they're taking it seriously and stuff and it's being made. But the whole, like, premise and, like, atmosphere around the show is jokey vibes. We're talking about log cows. So yeah, exactly. The fact that these are acting seriously to comment <laughs> is, is really weird. Uh, one, I had them on the show the first time because there was a rumor that Grace is fucking her father, and I thought it would be good content. It wasn't, though. It was trash. Two, <laughs> okay. even... Oh, okay. Listen. Yeah, this is... This is... Dude. This is primo content. You've said something fucking funny and a bit embarrassing, maybe, on the internet. Talk about it, right? Like, that's fucking good content, yeah. One thing I do agree with here, though, is Grace is a waste of time. Grace and her dad are a total waste of time. I uh, made the mistake recently of, uh, you know, going back on the idea it's not worth covering them. And I had a look at the arrest thing. And within, like, a five minutes, I was like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. Clearly put on excessively. Clearly fucking embellished. Possibly fake drama. Anyway, let's get back to the Log How Live stuff, guys. Even though their first appearance was garbage, I had to put them on a second time because the father father got arrested and there was a major update. Three, I only had them on the third time because they accused me of sexual assault and uh, sexual assault. And honestly, I thought it was a funny bit. Four, have you seen my girlfriend? She's a straight up smoke show. <laughs> oh my god! Dude. You gotta be able to laugh at yourself a bit. I don't know. You gotta be able to have a little bit of a laugh at yourself, haven't you? That's part of the fun of doing all this, eh? Why the fuck would I want to fuck Grace? <laughs> Everything one and four, Dude, and you guys so on Reddit already know, but you choose to live in a fairy tale world that Grace is only on the show because I want to fuck her. You are retarded. I'm going to bully you for being retarded. So, <laughs> wait, so this is what is, I thought He's the third thing serious. was a bit. I thought the whole third thing was fake. But it he, was fake, yeah. But he, but still he asked said I about only it. had them on because they accused me of sexual harassment. So when they accused him of sexual harassment, was it a bit, but Keem wasn't in on the bit until later? Or was it like completely planned? Because I assumed that they called and they were like, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to falsely accuse you of sexual, sexually, uh, sexual harassment. No, it was like completely a bit. Uh, he definitely knew about all of it. But then look at the upvotes. He has zero upvotes and there's 70 comments and all the comments are shitting him. So the point being, I put this in the docket for him to go over today and he deleted it. He removed it from the docket three minutes before the live stream. Look at this. I have the proof, too. This is him editing it out of the docket. <laughs> so he, he went live, and then he whined about how I didn't put the docket together right. But he deleted it from the docket. He didn't, wanna, he didn't go want to go over his own shit. Oh, <laughs> no. No. Ashes, defend this now. Defend this now. Defend this. Just, it just seems like he didn't want to do it because it's just a bit embarrassing. I don't know. Like, why did he? Just have a laugh about it, you know? Oh, fucking look at this, guys. I don't know. Just fucking meme on it. It's funny. Why? All the comments are shitting on him. Everyone's saying he's a cow. Oh, no. This is the retarded pose. He says uh -oh. he was going to bully them for being retarded in, in point number five. Yeah. So do it. Yes, yeah, so I do it. But he did it. I'm upvoting. So <laughs> I'm up the bus. I want to give it some one. help. It's not worth zero. I mean, it's 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 a beautifully written piece. I yeah, love it. Great. I think this needs to be like I'm saving it. Like this needs to be like archived <laughs> for all eternity. He be this better not get deleted. This has to be. Yeah, I've screenshotted it. It's great. It's a great post. And so I was thinking, you know, he could read this on stream. He could have Boogie there. He could have Tommy there. He could have Wings there. They could talk shit about it. They could read the comments. Look at all these comments. My name is Kimo. I want to become a law cow. So you invite her on a fourth time because I'm more disgusted. You think it's kind of this Connor dude has the gayest voice I've ever heard. Sounds like he just came up from sucking cock. <laughs> Dude, he's a fellow editor. He's one of your compatriots. Come on now. Dude. <laughs> that is funny, though. That is funny. Content promoting. Like, people are giving, like, their takes on it and shitting on him. Why would you not? This is the whole point of Lolcow Live. This is fucking awesome, yeah. <laughs> oh, but dude, if Keem it. ends up being, like, the Lolcow like figure, then it's bad. Only be Boogie, Boogie and Wings can, can yeah. be Lolcows. Or... <laughs> I think that also, as well, so... So what Keemstar asked Connor to do this docket, didn't like the outcome, and then complained that Connor had not done it right when he had done it right, but he just didn't like the fact that... Is that not the definition of just do it yourself, bro? You know? Like, um, dude. Like, it would be absolutely... Like, if I said to DK, oh, I can't be bothered to do my own stream content today. Can you put something together, right? First of all, I tell you what it would be. 
trans individual saying something dumb trans 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 it would just be an effort to further my journey into anti-trans perspectives but anyway anyway let's not fucking but no if i said that and then let's say he put something embarrassing on there about me and i wanted to i it just, i just can't imagine a situation where you would be mad at the other person because they haven't done it right when they've given you good content but it's just stuff you don't like so it makes you look a bit silly you know i don't know it's just such a weird weird concept to me why? It's not that deep. Just have a fucking laugh with it, you know? And if you really don't want it to be like this, then do it yourself. <laughs> like, just do it yourself and don't have it on there then. What is it? An hour's worth of content? Fucking hell, man. That's rough, man. This is a, this is shaping up to be a, a Keemstar L. Jesus. I'm sure uh, Keemstar wouldn't mind Tommy C having a lockout moment, you know, but God forbid yeah. that Keem... That would be like if you took the Chud... This would be like if you took the Stellar Blade video down because of DK's title. Oh, <laughs> what he called me an old SJW. That's funny. It's like banter, isn't it? You know, it's funny to have people that, you know, work with you, do little funny things like that sometimes, you know. <laughs> Look. There's two here. Look, you've got old SJW triggered about Stellar Blade. Okay. Obviously about me, right? And then have the gays gone too far? What the heck is going on with the gays? And an arrow pointing to me, suggesting that, wait, is that suggesting I'm trans? Look at where the arrow's coming from. It's coming from the fucking trans bit. What on earth? Or is that a chaser thing? <laughs> Dude, what on earth? I didn't see that bit before. <laughs> But wait, hang on a second. DK is actually... Uh, from the other side, though, I feel like if you're an employee and your boss asks you to put something together, you probably don't want to try and embarrass your boss. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think I'd agree in normal circumstances. Like, for example, right? I don't know. Like, there's probably a line there somewhere, right? Like, you know... I, I can't think of what it is. It's kind of weird to think of it and to say it, maybe. But, like, there is probably a line that you don't, wouldn't want to cross in normal circumstances, yeah? But I think when it's the Lolcow show, I th Lolcow Live, I think there's probably a lower standard of what that line would be, you know? And you can probably have a bit more kind of banter with it, you know? And also, yeah, so Keem's main complaint is that the docket was shit and had no substance, even though reality is the exact opposite. Right, okay. So it's almost like it wasn't even who was willing to admit okay, it's because wonderful. it was a bit embarrassing. But how do I it was make more so money off the press people. A kind of bit, bit dishonest. Run by literal incompetent like poetry. It rhymes. Thank you for the three thirty three. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I do think. Yeah, I do see DK's perspective here. Actually, I don't think it's bad that he did that. I just think if you know Keemstar, you may want to be careful what you say about him. Right. Yeah, 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 sure. It's like you got to be a bit, you know, tread on eggshells a little bit around the big keem. The big keem, the big, the big keem star. Have a lockout moment for the lockout show. No, of course not. And so he, he had to remove that. So that's one. Then I included a clip of uh, Dick Masterson went like really hardcore and boogie, said that he's like manipulating his girlfriend, all sorts of other crazy shit. It's like a timestamp clip. But he watched this solo, by the way. None of, none of this. He didn't do any of this with the cows. He did all of this by himself. We want Boogie to react to these three. That's like a point. Dude, is that Dick Masterson? Dick Masterson talking some shit is absolutely primo content to talk about and react to. Imagine fucking Boogie freaking out about Dick Masterson. Dick Masterson's hilarious. Like, dude, that would be crazy. Just Boogie being like, you know, well, you see, the thing is here, guys, that, like him trying to contend with Dick Masterson's sheer fucking energy would be brilliant. Good Lord. Why did he go through it alone? That doesn't make any sense. Like nope. It's Keemstar alone. Boogie's not going to be there. Instead, he's going to do it on his own. He acted depressed and sad the whole time and then called Boogie in afterwards and didn't address half the docket. And then Boogie didn't just go over it. So Boogie probably doesn't even know this stuff happened because it's not like I know Boogie's kind of obsessed with himself. So he probably looks up a lot of things about himself. But so many people talk about him. So there's no right. like it's gone to a point probably with Boogie that there's no guarantee that he even see, has seen any of this shit, you know? Yeah, exactly. So but and then it's good because Boogie. So I keep Boogie Boogie. 
Because Boogie refuses to speak to interact with Dick. Dick and Boogie have history. Boogie was supposed to be the co-host to The Biggest Problem. <laughs> Is that a veto to keep it within the weight limit or something? <laughs> Boogie's a big guy, okay? He's like 400 pounds or something, isn't he? Good to get his reaction live on air because you can be like, holy yeah. shit, we can watch what Kim has to say or watch what Boogie has to say about it because Dick went in on him and he was saying a bunch of <laughs> crazy shit. And then, yeah, just a whole bunch of different like posts and stuff that you can read, you can talk about. Not like Chud, Chud, Chud loves Dick. Where's that young Dick clip? That's a classic. Now, listen, I, um, I've obviously been on Dick's show once and yeah, I don't know. He seems like a, a funny guy. I know he's quite controversial and. You know, people shit on him for stuff. I don't know. I think uh, Stylo said that they've said uh, there's an open invite to their podcast if I'm ever in um, LA. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'd go on the show. But I think he's funny. That's, that's it. He's a funny guy. But, I mean, if we really went through all these, you'd probably be here for at least like 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, Dick is a person. We not yeah, I mean, and the cows, uh, they do ramble quite a bit. So it's like, I, I yeah. can oh. definitely see like an hour and a half to two hours out of all of this. Yeah, um, and also, uh, this isn't even my job anyway. <laughs> I'm just supposed to edit the videos, but he was like, I can't figure out a live stream, so can you do it? The one thing he's supposed to do all week, he just couldn't even figure it out. So You even put a roast just... of yourself in here. Connor needs yes. to be fired immediately. <laughs> Cannot get over yes. how bad the title of the new episode is. Wait, don't doesn't Keem do the titles? Well, yeah, he does. So, so I feel like Connor's lack of any talent is really weighing down the show. So I want to include him shitting on me for, for editing and also a little bit of them shitting on him, right? Kind of tie it, it all together. So for fun content. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the whole point of this Reddit is to get everything going or, or like, yeah. to, to get talk for the show. Like where you, you're using the Reddit for your show. Kind of like how H3 pulls from his Reddit for the show, right? Exactly. And you're supposed to do it with like the whole crew there. Like if H3 did it without Dan and without everyone else, it would just be retarded. He does it with everyone. Right. So why would you just go in there? So Keem's not creative enough to do things solo. You know, he's he needs like the group. What's this? Skip to 1407. I think it gives decent context to the Connor situation. 1407. Okay. Everything that I'm hearing, I have to side with Rich. I, you guys see me with my me employees, too. right? I fucking <laughs> publicly scream at my fucking employees. You want to know why? You want to know why this whole like online <laughs> employee boss uh, fairy tale that you're supposed to treat everyone with respect and you're supposed to be nice to people? No, <laughs> they're your fucking workers. You yell at your well, fucking no, employees. Well, no, pause a so pause a second. Let's go. Uh, let's like meet halfway. You don't treat well. Okay, I I do. Didn't. You are in no treat. position. You are in no position to take. Rich, take up Rich, at listen all. to me. <laughs> Rich, listen to me. Did you work a real job prior to being a YouTuber? Oh, hell yeah, yes. And yeah. how were your, did your bosses handle you with kid gloves? Rich, we need you to come over here. Rich, we needed you to do all that. All right, all right. Good point. I remember my boss calling me a piece of shit because I wouldn't show up when there was exactly. two feet of snow outside. I'm from did the real world. Oh. I'm from the. I watched this before, I think. Yeah, it's like, that's out of date. That's out of fucking, like, there's, there's actually, like, information and studies and all sorts about this that show that if you just are like a boss that shouts and berates and stuff like that, you don't get the best outcome from your team, essentially. Uh, I learned about it all when I was a manager way back when, a decade ago now. So it's probably progressed even further, especially with the politically correct stuff. But like shouting and berating people doesn't work. You know, you're supposed to be like a leader. You're supposed to like, you can be firm. And obviously, you know, if someone does something wrong, you follow the protocol for a punishment or something like getting written up or something like that. But you don't do it with like, yeah, you fucking idiot, you're a moron. It's like you do it in a way that is like more amenable to moving forward and actually learning and developing and progressing, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. Because the thing is, if you shout and you berate, people are on edge. You know, they're on edge and they're like, you know, God, I hope he doesn't get fucking angry again, you know? Whereas if you're a bit more, and you know, obviously you, you got to be careful with, with that because, you know, But yeah, you, you get you get known as a good manager and then that means the team work better for you and get better results and so on and so forth, you know?
Um, and especially nowadays, there's a lot more power in the hands of a worker. So like, for example, there's a, something in the UK called a grievance. I don't know if you have the same thing in America, but if your boss behaves or acts in a way that you don't like, you can actually take your grievance to HR and they will, you know, deal with it and sort of litigate the situation and figure what, out what's what. And uh, in some cases may even issue like a, you know, a write up or a, a some sort of comment to the manager to say, no, you can't do that or something, you know? So yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's of the past. It's of the past really. And I think that if you're doing a show, you can make it a bit bullish and make it a bit like, you know, whatever, but yeah, I don't know. Bit of a weird mentality, I'd say. He, he works well in a group setting because he can manage people. H, okay. Human resources. I say things weird because I'm British, okay? But Solo, he's just like ADHD brain and can't do anything. Yeah, and even if it like, not... if you want to do Solo, he has the Keemstar show channel for that. Like, Lolcow is specifically <laughs> for uh, to highlight Boogie and Wings, right? Yeah, exactly. It's not about him. So he's he, he, he bagged the show on purpose, which is a total L. And then uh, try to blame it on me when he didn't couldn't even spend 15 minutes to set it up in the first place. So wait, so the whole show but, got canceled? It didn't even happen? No, he went live. I just mean bag the shows, and he okay, went live and intentionally like uh, he was acting and rest and sad. And said it was such a boring me. docket the whole time because he didn't put it together himself. Dude, this whole so. concept of like bu like the Reddit shitting on Boogie and Wings, or like um you know even Dick Masterson shitting on Boogie or whatever, and then them like reacting to it live, live Reddit review. Why why is it Keemstar? Like this this thumbnail and and title is clickbait. It was yeah, a better it's concept that should have been there already. That should have been done. Yeah. <laughs> Charge to trigger's Discord mods. They're abusive. Oh, you're the guy that was freaking out yesterday. <laughs> um, Listen, my mods are just trying to make sure my server doesn't get taken down. Okay? So just chill out. I mean, I, I would <laughs> review it right now, like, but the show is private. Yeah, it's also members only, which is great. But yeah, yeah now the same thing with the tips run. Yeah, he did that too. I made like a montage of tips of talking shit. And it was like, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes. And he couldn't watch it for more than 30 seconds straight. Like, I don't know what he expected to see, but obviously you have to watch Boogie say something and then you have to watch tips to respond. Like you covered all the Boogie versus tips or shit, right? Yeah, lightly. Not like super in depth though. Well, yeah. it, it, super in depth for the average person, not super in depth for me covering tips. <laughs> you know? We only spent like an yeah. hour or two on it, not five. But yeah, well, Bokeem spent a solid like maybe five minutes on it. Okay, that's, that's how much wonderful. he's spent before his. But how do you, I make listen, money? Listen, you guys, if you are talking about the individual mods, you are getting too into I it. Okay. I work in HR in the US. You are right. I think Keem is stealing the old Howard Stern bit of yelling at his producers for content. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it is, you know, it's based on some sort of backing it's not just like oh just be nice to people it is like you get better results if you treat people with more respect and humanity than just shouting at them because they do something wrong i think there's a god dude this is <laughs> is this is this still a thing x versus y managers god there's so much shit man Theory, dude, this is all shit I learned when I was a manager. Theory X and Theory Y. Theory X is based on negative assumptions. So Theory X is the old style of management. This management style assumes that a typical worker has little ambition, avoids responsibility, and is individual go orientated. In general, Theory X style managers believe their employees are less intelligent, lazier, and work solely for a sustainable income. Um, but yeah. You know, this is like the old style, 80s management style. And theory Y is the kind of newer format. And if you approach it with this mentality, generally speaking, you'll get better results. That being said, it doesn't mean that theory X is completely unnecessary because there might be some situations where maybe there are, is someone that's like that. So you need to take a different tact. But yeah, theory Y is based on positive assumptions. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do Thank I you for the super chats. Off to press people. 50 Swedish krona from Short Stack Goblin. Stop letting chat bullying your accent. Be a proud Angloid like Carl. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Thank you for the super chat. Theory Wine managers assume employees internally motivated, enjoy their job, and work better. You get the idea, right? You get the gist. Anyway, this is taking me back to the old days when I worked uh, an actual job. And I didn't get my social battery drained by you guys. I love you guys, okay? Thanks for the support. Keep it coming. The ADHD brain bounce all over the place. Yeah, I remember because um. I think I haven't <laughs> tried watching that episode. I've watched 
a couple episodes. I, I tried to watch a tipster stream. There was one lol cow that I watched all the way through and really liked, but I forget which one it was. Yeah, um, some of them they're good. I mean, this thing is it's, it's a good show if they're all together. But Keem is just too incompetent to do anything solo. He just just does not work for him. Wow. He works well with all of them together because he can like talk shit to them and make whole show. But it's just retarded if he works solo. It just does not work. So. Yeah, dude. Okay, it's this one I watched, not the video, but the live stream version. The first oh, yeah. thing I see when I scroll down, top comment, Keem, fire your editor. Every single po <laughs> podcast is way worse than it is live. The broad dude, cuts you, of every edited episode ruining the pace, making it unwatchable. Dude, you know what? You know what's so funny about this? Okay, I did an experiment, right? So, I mean, the thing is, is obviously, listen, okay? I understand Keem stars acting like a low cow, very sensitive, doesn't want to read his own Reddit posts and stuff like that, okay? But I do feel like Connor is there's some criticism to go Connor's way. Um I think I think that they, like Connor's getting a very easy ride with everyone being on his side. Where clearly there's things that, you know, he isn't getting right. You know? Like clearly there's things that he's not doing that he should be doing that's having a negative detriment. You know, a lot of people are commenting on how bad the editing was and stuff, so I don't think Connor's anything wrong. Anything really? <clears throat> but you know, I like Connor. I've spoken to him. He seems like a nice guy. So I just think that, like, <laughs> it sounds like he's a bit, he's a bit frustrating to work with sometimes. Keem wants me to cut out every pause, right? This is his request. He says, cut out every pause, cut out every arm, cut out every eye. So I've been doing that, and every time I do that, people in the comments are like, holy shit, this is edited horribly. The last episode I did was uh, Melanie Mack. I cut that up, but I didn't do it the way he asked. I did it normally, where I left some others, I left some others, I left pauses in there intentionally to see what the response would be. Not a single comment is complaining about the editing. They're all just talking about the episode. As soon as I do it my own way and like edit it properly, what? instead of the weird Gen Z way that he likes to edit, everyone's like, this is fine, this is great. Yeah, now it's, com now it's complaining about having a rich... I don't know if you're trying to wind me up, okay? It's not fence straddling to say, you know, I think there's criticism due here. And also, I think that this person is not getting enough criticism because there is some to be had. That's not fence straddling. That's called having nuance, okay? On the show instead. But yeah, dude, I mean, fucking, this is... Okay, I'll, I'll grant that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. You know, if Keemstar is giving him direction that's leading to it being badly received, then that is on Keemstar's shoulders. And uh, yeah, I think Kristen Ark is on the money. The entire situation is so stupid because this could all be solved with conversations and stuff. Like, I don't know if I've got it here to, to get into. But basically, like, Keem and Local Live blocked Bow Blacks for some reason over this. Like, that's just it. <laughs> also, on top of that as well, I do okay, think that wonderful. Connor is, like, how do I make really fucking creamed on this, if you know what I mean. From right? Sucker, not fence sitting. Like, he obviously is, like, relishing the opportunity to go on fucking biggest problem and shit on Keemstar some more, you know? And th that's the, the thing there is even if... Someone said this in chat a moment ago, but even if you totally agree with Connor's point, doesn't... Like, does Connor not worry that people are going to look at this and be like, fuck me, I'm not working with that guy? Because if something, something bad happens and we were falling out, he's going to be talking shit on me on some other fucking show. Like... I just think that it makes you look bad. And I think that you're going to end up with people looking at you and not trusting you to like edit for you and work for you without having some sense of, you know, like, yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> I wouldn't fucking hire the guy off the back of this. Like if Connor came to me and said, can I, I'd be like, no, no, because if we ever have a beef, you might well end up on someone's show talking shit about me. Why the fuck would I want that to happen? You know? This is just so funny. I'm obviously not fired. Oh, Keemstar was whining and complaining all day, all day long. But uh, I had Buggy and Tommy gun guard for me because they're right. I mean, they went live. They were on the live stream. Like, what are you talking about? Like, you went over all of it solo. You could have had like an hour long show if you had all of us in here. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 sh the solo beforehand thing is just doesn't work. Yeah, doesn't and, work. and I know if they're all in there, it would get like derailed maybe for like certain topics and maybe the like. Okay. So, for example, how did this conversation come about? How did Bo Blacks and Connor end up talking about this? DK will keep his mouth shut. Well, it depends. You know, if I if I really fuck DK over, um, you know, did something really nasty, he he might talk shit on me publicly, um, which depending on what it is, yeah, that might be might be fair enough. But then. 
that could impact his his future. That's just the reality of it, you know? So it's kind of balance of like, how badly have you been treated versus, you know, what, is it worth speaking about it if it's going to have such a negative detriment on your future employment, you know? But the thing is, is like, with DK, we, we're more of like a partnership, really. We, you know, like, he's done a lot of work on the channel to get it to where it is. So I don't really see it like, I would just be like, yeah, you're gone. See you later. It's, you know, there'd probably be like some discussion and agreement of something that we come to if that were to happen. But yeah, no, I mean, obviously there's been a number of times where there's been some, some stuff and people have talked about DK and R, you know, getting rid of him and, the bond has remained strong. There's been ups and downs, of course, like anything, but we're in a really good... The channel is honestly in such a good position. It's unreal. And me and DK are, you know, very on a level, communicating, talking about the channel. Um, you know, there's always problems. There's always fucking problems that happen with YouTube. Like this goes wrong or that goes wrong, etc. And it's like, oh, fuck, this has happened. What do we do? That's annoying. Da, 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 da. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, I kind of, I guess, view it a bit differently than maybe other people do. But I think some people think editors are very replaceable, you know? And it's like, oh, an editor's done something wrong. Just get rid of them and get someone else. But it's not as simple as that. I have got some sense of loyalty as well. But like, even if I didn't, you can't just plug another editor in necessarily because the decent editors are actually quite few and far between, you know? viewers need context really fast anyway but enough glazing maybe pick and choose which topics you do that on like if it's an important thing where you need to get out all of the facts and then have the cows comment on it it's not as much reaction but more pure information then be solo and then the cows come in but if it's a thing like a thing to be reacted to then everyone should be there 100 i mean yeah. that's just basic streamer knowledge it's just surprising me i always hear augie talk about stuff like you know before like he's talked about like oh like i know that uh keemstar used to be really good at like streaming he used to be like the fucking top tier streamer back in the day like back in 2014 he was amazing and every time i've watched keem stream in the last like three months i've just been like blown away with how Terrible, <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Like he cannot do it solo. He can do it with a group. I'll give him that. But solo, he's just not. He cannot do it. It's like his brain is fried. What do you? Did you ever watch King back in the day? Like in twenty fourteen? Yeah, he shit? was. He was a lot better. He was a lot more funny. I don't know what happened. I, I think like <laughs> Keemstar. I think the Keemstar show really lost. He lost a lot of his confidence. Maybe. Right. I, I, I'm. I'm guessing. I'm like completely speculating. But I'm yeah. guessing maybe the change is because he's like losing confidence ever since the game star show because he's that's when he could like Ooh, notice it's i started to see why bobo x well got blocked uh-oh i don't know about all this fucking background and the game star show and stuff like that um doesn't he do happy punch as well is it to maybe too many irons in the fire two perhaps i don't know he's got that what was that person the trans individual that runs <laughs> that runs the drama alert account I tell you what, though, I always look at the drama alert account and I think, oh, that's fucking bait post bullshit nonsense. But that account gets like, what, like millions of impressions, insane levels of fucking impressions. So they must be making quite a lot of money on that account, even if it is a lot of bait and shit, you know, fucking crazy to think about see that his relevance dipped like through numbers maybe he's like really desperate yeah, sky for people to like yeah that's true he started the sky fire thing yeah exactly like him <laughs> i yeah. don't know but ma maybe know. i'm just talking out of my ass i really uh, can't tell what's going on in his uh, head I, so. there's probably some truth to that yeah there's probably some truth to that because you know another thing about speaking of his confidence you want to know my theory on keemstar when this is let's get into very very spurgy theory but um so you know how he quit drama alert right like keemstar you know he quit drama alert because he's obviously falling off wait hang on a sec sorry one other thing as well is this before... Wait a second. Is this before Connor got fired? Is that right? Is it before or after? He gets... Oh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Wait a second, guys. Okay. Hang on a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. You're saying that fucking Keemstar did nothing wrong, okay? I agree with your analysis of the fucking docket shit and stuff like that, okay? But, like, 
this is excessive, man. He's going on and fucking talking all this shit. Like, this is way too much, man. No, like you really think it's acceptable for this guy to go to this level where he's like hyper analyzing key like his fucking boss like this. <laughs> Come on, that's excessive, man. No, is it not? You think this is all totally fine and Keem Star should just be totally chill with this? Yeah, this was before. This was before he got fight. Don't. People are really going to act like this is totally acceptable behavior. Like, it's okay to talk a bit of shit, okay? To talk a bit of fucking shit about the guy. But this is crazy. He's like going in, all oh, his insecurities. Oh, dude, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. I know it's the low cow show, right? I get that. Okay, and yeah, sure. I think Keemstar's being sensitive over the Reddit post, but if this is if this is before, nah, no, 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 it's too much. It's way too much. It's way too fucking much. Listen, I don't fucking mind DK fucking having a bit of a laugh and talking a bit of shit and fucking having a you know whatever, doing a funny thumbnail. But could you imagine if he went onto a show because we'd had some sort of disagreement, even if I'd have spoken some shit on him, and he was like trying to undress all my insecurities and shit publicly? Dude, I'd be furious. What the fuck? Come on, man. That's too much. That's too much, dude. Nah, I think this is excessive. If it's before, yeah, that's that's fucking absurd. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> It's just, I just th sat there thinking, I thought this was after it all happened. And then I'm like, wait, is this before? Because if it's before, I totally get where Keemstar would, would like have a really bad reaction to this. Dude, listen to what he's talking about. He's like trying to undress all of his insecurities that he might have in a public setting with someone. Dude. <laughs> what do you mean? This is crazy. You know, it's really funny. Doesn't the he only still stuff... do them on Snapchat, like with him speaking? Yes, but you know what's really funny about that? For some reason, he does it on Snapchat. That's kind of short form content, right? Like his, his episodes are probably like five minutes, maybe or less. It's kind of short form content. Yeah. But that's the only platform he does it on. He could upload five minute videos to TikTok. He can upload five minute videos to. Okay, let's put it like this. Okay, even if you think Keemstar's shit talking, um, Connor, and saying all bad shit about him, okay, right? I think that I would say that's wrong, and he shouldn't do that. Sure. But. Do you expect that, like, do you think after all of this, you would expect that Connor's able to just continue on with, like, nothing's happened? Like, obviously he's going to lose his fucking job here. This is your fucking, but this is the guy that pays your fucking salary that you're talking about. No? I'm like, dude, this is so crazy to me. The people are acting like, oh yeah, Connor did nothing wrong, Keemstar's totally in the wrong. When he's here on this stream talking all this fucking insane shit. even YouTube, or um, I think, I don't think Instagram does five minutes, but you can probably put one minute clips out there on those channels, but he only does it on Snapchat. You want to know why? You want to know why he only does it on Snapchat? Why? I think I know why, but you tell me. It's the only platform that you can't publicly see the views. Every other platform, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you can go look at the person's page and see how many views their shit is getting. Yeah. Snapchat, you can't. He never has to be pressed <laughs> about how he fell off <laughs> because he's only right. posting on a platform that he gets to the views. Also, on. okay, starting shit is one thing. Okay, like you guys, you guys are like, you know. Okay, so could Connor go on and call Keemstar a pedophile because of his relationship with Brantley? Would that be okay? Would that be acceptable? Like, what do you mean? Where's the line then? There's got to be a fucking line somewhere, surely. <laughs> no, like this, you know, do, do you not see that like going and like trying to undress people's, your boss's insecurities on stream, on a stream that's not local? Dude, I don't know, man. I listen. I I agree that Keemstar's being sensitive over the docket. I'm on board with that criticism. Okay, but like this is crazy. The fact he's saying all of this before he's even been fucking fired. Of course he's going to lose his job over this. Yeah, absolutely. Especially after some what was the pre the pre, there was a previous drama too where apparently he wasn't doing something he was supposed to do something to do with shorts or something.
Anyway, listen. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to fucking break it to you. But, I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised that you got fired. Shit, a bit of shit talking's fine to make content, but this, to me, seems excessive. Oh, his, his metrics <laughs> for success that he keeps trying to, like, flex with the drama alert count is, like, impression. So he's basically, like, saying, we're good at typing something that people will freak out at it cl and click on and then, like, not follow because of it. Or, like, we're good right. at spamming posts, so, like, on average, just we're going to have a higher uh, impression count. And also, yeah, and then he goes on to another fucking podcast to continue talking shit. I mean, dude, <laughs> what is Connor thinking? Who is going to work with him now? Who the fuck in this space would look at this and go, yep, yeah, I want to work with this guy. This guy seems trustworthy. <laughs> you guys just, I, I, I think you guys are just content brained. I'm going to pause as much as I want. Shut the fuck up. You guys are content brained and you just want the content. And I get that. But like, I think you're missing the fact that like, while shit talking is fine and whilst generating a bit of content is fine, like, this is going, to, to me, it seems, pretty obviously over a line, going onto Bo Black's stream to try and undress someone's fucking insecurities about their content, you know? For example, if it was like, oh, look, here's the docket. Keemstar was fucking, didn't want to cover his own thing. Isn't that embarrassing? Ha ha ha. Yeah, I'd, I'd be on board with you. Anything for the first five minutes or so, I'd be on board that getting rid of him over that is crazy, okay? But this is absurd and excessive, you know? As we post so much, like yeah. like I feel like Keemstar's the only person I've ever seen flex Twitter impressions. <laughs> yeah, or like, kind of, like we got a billion like... impressions. Like okay, there's that accounts mean? that get like viral tweets that get like millions of views that still end up having like 500 followers. Like I don't I right. don't know. Are you making like a lot of money off Twitter? I don't like I just don't like. Yeah. Are is it like converting to Snapchat views? Is because like <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. Well, I mean, here's the thing: if he releases his Snapchat analytics then I'll kneel. But if not, then I'm completely going to believe that he only posts on Snapchat so he can hide his view count because then <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, another thing about Twitter this too is, is like, it's a lot easier. This is the way you talk about someone you hate. You're shit talking someone you hate. Not someone that's paying your fucking salary. No? What? <laughs> Dude, this is insane. To just clickbait or post like stupid shit on the internet when it's just like a Twitter post. Yeah. But to actually make like engaging content, he's falling off that. Yeah. Road, obviously. Because in order to consume a tweet like fully, it takes like uh, five to 20 seconds, right? And, but if there's right. a video attached, obviously it takes longer, but usually there isn't. Uh, when it comes to anything else, like you got to dedicate like a minute or more. So it's just easier to click and read a tweet and just like not think about it. I don't know. It's like right. really easy to get impressions on Twitter. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, but it doesn't yeah. really do anything because it's like you barely make any money if you do at all. And it's like, I guess you could like post under your viral tweet being like, hey, check out my thing. But that usually doesn't work. I don't know. It's just... It, it, it's, it just, there's just no point in flexing it. Yeah, it's just very uh, it's very strange. But regardless, you know, I, I think the thing is, too, if he knew Drama was falling off, that's why he retired it. Um, and now he can just do other side projects because, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's hey. not his full commitment, uh, like Walkout Live and shit like that. Regardless, you know, it's just funny to me. She's a straight up smoke show. <laughs> Dude, it's just, it's just funny it's to like... me. It's so boomer. It's so <laughs> like, boomer. Okay. Like, yeah, you it's think like your girlfriend's post. hot. Like, yeah, I, like, yeah, like. Tipster, tipster's gonna be like, yeah, but what do you mean? My wife is gorgeous. Like, yeah, of course I, you think, I I would expect you to think your wife is gorgeous. You know, I would expect yeah. you to think she's a straight up smoke show for you. Because for you, she is. That's fine. I don't think she's ugly. I just don't think she's a straight up smoke show. I, I don't know, like, why even bring it up? She's a straight up <laughs> smoke show. Have you seen my girlfriend? Wow, why would I want to be with anyone else? Everything you're saying is true. And then on top of that, he includes it in a post of how much he doesn't want to fuck another girl. On the Wall Kai Live subreddit. Why? <laughs> why? You retard. It's just so desperate. Could you imagine how he was feeling when he wrote yeah, this? Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I was, I so I was led to believe that it was just this and stuff like this that was the, uh, the bothering. And that's why I thought yeah, Keemstar's fucking out of line for firing this guy. But it went way beyond that. <laughs> you really think that like dressing down your boss's insecurities in a public stream? It's like, yeah, no, go right ahead. Good luck with that. You know. What, you're just saying yes because you want the content. You're content-brained. Keem told him to do this. He's not as gone down. Well, he pays his salary, doesn't he? Pays his, pays, pays his money for the job. Anyway, I think we've seen, seen enough.
Can't say bad things about Boss. Well, I mean, I don't. A bit of banter's fine. A bit of fucking, you know, whatever. But like, it just is excessive. Anyway, let's see what happens when Keemstar calls in. That up. It's just so bad. I, I, I felt like this could have been such a good show. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, you felt like it should have been a good show without Dude, fucking why, shitty Dude, why did you mind. not read your Grace Thorpe post? Why did you delete that from the document? Because I already responded to it on the show before, but you cut it out of the edit. I've already literally said everything in that post word for word on the show before. Uh, but let me replies? ask you a question. Why did didn't you, you take replies? more than, hey, why are you going to interrupt me every time I talk? Every time I talk. That's one time, by the way. Okay, no, no, no. Ever since I've been in here, you've been talking over me. Ever <laughs> since I've been in here. <laughs> We've been in here for 30 seconds. Go ahead, Keemstar. Yeah, okay. and you've been you wrong every stuff. single okay. time. And you're doing relax, it again. Relax. And you're doing it again. Go ahead. So are, are, you, are you asking me a question? Relax. Are you asking me a question or do you want to hear yourself talk? What is it? Keemstar, uh, ask Colt, a question. Colt Moore. Where is mad already? You guys are like totally inhuman in like your thought process here. Okay. Like some dude has just been ripping on you and, and trying to dress undress your insecurities so that you pay money to on a stream. <laughs> and he's a bit fuck What is going on? I feel like I'm in backwards land here. I feel like I'm in backwards land. Look. By all okay, means, talk your shit but about Keemstar, okay? Of course. Nine but like, it's so crazy that he'd be fucking fired up about this, though. Confucius no? say, speak kill of leader, <laughs> like scratchier <laughs> with scorpion, satisfaction short, pain long. Also say one telltale on boss, light fuse on own firework. Show might be brief, but fall out last. I mean, sure. Like, look, y y there's a point to be made there about you know the uh what is it there's there's a point to be made about the, the show i get that talk about the docket and talking some shit about that fine but it, to me it's gone beyond that and it seems so obvious to me and if you can't see that then that's fine but yeah anyway right, giggle and cope more Dude, your, your docket was fucking trash no you asked me no. a question and i tried to answer and you're interrupting me Ask your question. This is why I'm you're fucking gone, bro. You're fucking gone. Why do you want to come on here? No, I'm so serious. I'm bringing Tuba on bro. from Skyfire, who's an amazing editor, to come on okay, and relax. Relax. again. We oh, talked to you. We told you this so many fucking depressed people. Oh my of god. Course, you're gone. Think she is a smoke Damn, show. Keemstar is funny. This is okay, empowering him straight away. How do I make money? Of course, off they people. would get fired. These basement needs never left the house. Thank you for the three thirty three. Appreciate it. Jesus times before you don't fucking talk and disrespect the show this way you did a fucking I horrible have... job you're over here saying shit like about? oh Keemstar, they're trying you to have do one job drama what is Keemstar. the force drama Keemstar, you what is have the one force job. drama i'll tell you i'll tell you this you what is it job. what is the force drama answer the question yeah answer the question this is the force drama you have one job to do which is make a live stream once a week that's your one job right you can't come up with it no it's not my one job i have many different jobs that is not my job live with local live that's your one job no, that isn't my job yes. either. I got to make sure that you're uploading and you're no, you doing the fucking what you That's should, Tommy's job. Is it not Tommy's job? What do you fucking say? You're a liar. It's Tommy's job. You're lying. I just fucking Again, contrast that, is not, that is not a lie. Lie. Have to, cause, okay, line hey. number one. Okay. What else? Dude, do you, manage the finances. Okay. Bo Blacks, Bo Blacks, can I ask you a question? Are you going to let us talk one at a time or just let him talk over me the entire time? What, what are we doing I mean, here? I mean, you guys are... I mean, look, guys, I just think we've got a very big difference of opinion here uh, in some of this. I mean, some people in chat, I think, maybe see my side more. You know, just to be clear, it's not to say that you can't talk shit about Keemstar if that's the nature of the show, but it seems pretty clear a line's been crossed here. <laughs> like, in terms of, like I say, the dressing down of the insecurities, the talking that much shit on the show and stuff like that. Clearly, like, Keemstar is very triggered, right? But if you want to keep your, keep your 2K, you probably don't want to take it to that level, no? Otherwise, you're going to lose it. That's exactly what happened. You guys are crazy acting like this is like Keemstar's being completely unreasonable in all of this, which I just don't think is true. What, what am I going to just interrupt <laughs> both of you guys to just say? I would like you to because I, I, I can't spurging. stand talking and then he talks on the Okay, Connor, and Connor, let, Keem, <laughs> let Keemstar speak and then talk when he's finished, all right? Okay, Normal conversation rules here. No. Go ahead. I know, like, what the fuck is this? Uh, so, so it is, it is my job to make sure you're doing what you're doing. And when you don't, then I have to go yell at Tommy and then Tommy. But yeah, saying to, saying to Keemstar. Your only job is to do the docket. I, you know, look, I don't know the ins and outs of the fucking show, but like the local podcast, rightly or wrongly, whether you like it or not, wouldn't exist without, um, without Team Star at all. So I don't know what the nature of his role is, but I would imagine there maybe is more to it than just writing a docket. 
And yeah, it's obviously very fucking lazy to palm it off to someone if it's an hour's content. There's no denying that. But like, dude, like Connor's giving a lot of a lot of crazy attitude, which you know. Tommy has to yell at you. So there's no lie. I don't know why you would say I'm lying. Yeah. Tommy is the one that manages me completely. You don't manage me at all. You barely do. I mean, the only thing that you'll do is every now and then you'll message me. So you you okay, go on the show all the time. I don't even talk to Connor about the live shows. I don't know what to, I don't even talk to him. He just manages it himself. I don't talk to him. So which is true that you don't. And I just don't think, given who he is, he's not allowed to cry about stuff like this. Let's meet in the middle of both retards. I mean, sure, maybe. That's Ben's, that's Ben's sitting there, apparently. I don't know, man. Look, I just think there's... Look, I appreciate people fucking hate Keemstar. I get that. Totally fucking appreciate that. And, and yeah, clearly he was being very fucking triggered and pathetic over the docket thing. Way too concerned about that. I agree there. Okay? Con has clearly taken it over the line of like what would be acceptable. Keemstar's fired up. And his attitude here is not conducive to obviously resolving that, which is why it's going the way it's going, you know? Talk to me on the show so that you're constantly managing me. When did I say I don't talk to you? When talk, did I say I don't talk last to show. you? He said that last show. You were talking about the uh, when I edit the live stream after you go live. You said that last show. You said, I don't talk to Connor about that. Like, he just so it was it So was it universally that I didn't talk to you for the whole time you've been in Laocao or just like the last few weeks when Tommy no, took No, you over? don't. You don't talk to me about the ideas that goes into Laocao edit. I do that completely myself. You don't talk to me about the, uh, like, how the content's that's going. I do, that. I, do that, I do that with Tommy. I do that with Tommy. Yeah, and that's I message all the time because he's my boss. Yeah, exactly. That is true. Yeah, that's, that's not true. true. That's not you, true. You don't whatsoever. talk about that at all. So you're Look not going to come on here and lie. Your one job is to manage a live stream. You couldn't do it. You pushed off two weeks there in a row. You know no you failed. Lie. There is yes. no lie. And okay. by the way, the docket was fucking garbage. And the fact that you can't accept that is just more of the same. Me, like when you do me and, a bad edit Bookie. job and everybody, like literally there's a campaign to fire you. Like everybody wants <laughs> oh, okay. you fired. Yeah, they so said about every person. So if this isn't cope, like what is it then? Okay. Why does why does the entire fan base want you fired? Why do they scam true. it every time? You're, yes, they do. Because it's funny. It's funny. You're okay, I can take it. You're so they, one they job they is like spam that they it. want they all spam that they want to fire you because it's funny. That's what they're yes. doing. And you know it's funny because you play into it. That's why you did what you did today by acting all the press on stream. You know it's funny. If you didn't know it was funny, you wouldn't play into it like you do. Be honest. Obviously, you fucking think it's funny. Second thing, you pushed off the live stream I twice. I think it's in a row. true. I actually think it's no. true. I think you're actually no, pretty bad at your job. No, I'm not bad at my job because I spent more time on the live stream than you did, right? So I don't know what the, the you know. For example, Chud said, hey, bro, I can't shoot today. Can you take over? Then I'll do the best transpassing review stream this channel has ever seen. <laughs> Dude, come on now. <laughs> um. Oh, man. Oh, do, I just... It's kind of mind boggling to me. And also, I, I just remember there was drama before where Connor was complaining that there wasn't enough content. I'm remembering it better now, I think. And there was like an argument about the shorts that were being done and Connor wasn't doing shorts. And there was a complaint about that. It was like, a and, and there was previous issues with this guy apparently that got, you know, kind of discussed. Work of a king would be a nightmare. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, look, I wouldn't want to have Connor as an editor because clearly it's, you know, <laughs> drama central. But also, yeah, I wouldn't want to work for Keemstar either because it sounds like he's a fucking annoying to work for. So, yeah. Take from that what you will, I guess. Right? Because you couldn't even spend, you said, oh, you said. No, you didn't. I called you during the live stream twice and you didn't answer your phone. So what are you talking about? No, setting up the live stream. I spent more time setting up the live stream than you. The one thing you're supposed to do for Lockout Live. What did you do for Lockout Live this week? What did you do besides show up to the stream and mope and cry? What did you do? What did you... Bro, it's like... What do you... It's like so crazy. What did you do? I don't know. Like, it's literally his whole thing. It wouldn't exist without him, no? Like, he's the one that pulled it all together. Yeah, like, Connor's role wouldn't exist if it wasn't for fucking keep start doing this. Crazy. Nothing, I, told, I told research. you, I literally you called you. Yeah, for one thing, I started the fucking show and I built it to what it is. Thing. I did. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How are you going to the show? How are you going to tell me what I did? You don't know what I'm doing. I've spent. I've been on the Reddit this entire time. I've been like looking at Boogie's Twitter and Wings' Twitter and. So why did, so why did you need me to make a docket? Why did you need me to make a docket? I'm still talking. I'm still Go talking. Ahead. Go ahead. And you keep interrupting me before I can finish. I'm looking on the Reddit. I'm looking on Wings and Boogie's social medias to see what the fuck's going on with them. I'm looking for anybody saying anything about them, and there was nothing this week. So I postponed Tuesday. To Wednesday, and then I told you, look, go through the Reddit, grab some fan art, 
grab some uh, potential drama, grab some things that we can react to and, and talk about, right? And then mm -hmm. I look at the docket and there's only a few posts in there. I'm like, well, there's not much to go on. I guess I'll just read these and then add Boogie and uh, and uh, Wings into the call. So that's what I did. But the docket was not impressive at all. The docket was trash. You spent 15 minutes on it. Okay. You obviously have no idea how to run a show when you're going through Reddit posts. Why the fuck would you read Reddit posts about Boogie without Boogie in the fucking call? What was the thought process there? It was boring. The docket was bad. There was nothing to react what to. What the what fuck are you about? talking about? You're reading the Reddit. The whole point of the fucking show is the Reddit. What are you talking yeah, but about? The, but the docket was trash. The docket you're was reading trash. the Reddit post. What are you retarded? You're Did not going to you, read Reddit posts about Boogie <laughs> with Boogie in the call. Are you actually just retarded? What are you talking about? I'm I'm actually confused I, I, because there's I, no, yeah, no shit. There you're confused. Nothing you couldn't run the show. No there's shit, nothing in the fucking confused. docket. Yeah, I can tell you're fucking confused, Keemstar, because you couldn't run the fucking show. No shit, bro. If you weren't confused, you would have brought the cows in and had a whole, like, you know, talk with them while you're reading over the fucking Reddit post, but you didn't. No shit, what you're confused. What Reddit post? What Reddit post? Tell me. What Reddit post? The 15, the 15 Reddit posts that I put in there. And, and also what the are they? What are they? What are they? You could, read the one about, you could have read the one about you and Grace Thorpe. You could have read the one about Boogie update, Boogie updating Desi. You could have uh -huh. talked about Flaming Star and tied uh -huh. in Flaming Star and Desi. You could have talked about that. EDP uh -huh. defending Boogie in the comments. You could have uh -huh. brought him in so and the, talked about EDP. So you could have had Boogie document. react about EDP. So is the shit What are you talking about? I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here rambling so off 20 ideas document. to you. I'm so rambling off 20 ideas document. to you. Yeah, you're coping. I mean, now you're just coping. No, you're coping. You're in here fucking crying. Because everybody shit on you once again. No, you were wrong. You got exposed. You got exposed. You did a horrible job at a fucking docket. You got exposed for completely you spent a whole failing at putting minutes together on the show. That? You spent a whole 15 <laughs> minutes on failed. that? You failed at putting together. You got exposed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. If it's not of his job description, he doesn't want to do it, then he should say that, yeah. I'm not, that's not my job. You do it. Or like maybe a bit, a bit more read, but do you know what I mean? Like, okay, oh, that's man. wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Now, according to Fire Show, the same doc. Yeah, I'm sure the docket, the docket's good. The docket's good. The docket's fine. The Keemstar's coping on the docket question. I, I'm fully on board with the, the docket situation. Okay, it's just you know the way Con is acting. It's at literally no surprise that <laughs> he fucking lost lost the role. But people are like, oh, Keemstar's totally in the wrong to fire him. Nah, this is pretty obvious outcome of the situation, you know? Of the show, it was a total L on your side. You watched it all solo, like a total retard, ADHD, drooling, having no idea what the fuck's going on. Then you bring the cows in and you make the content crying about the docket. Instead of even talking, you didn't talk about EDP, you didn't talk about anything. You made the content crying about the fucking docket. That was a total L. Well, so just take the L, bro. That, that L's going to you because you are officially fired. And no, like, I'm no mean. Fired. Yes, you are. I fired. have a new editor. I'm actually. <laughs> I'm not fired. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Jesus. Actually getting rid of you. Uh, I'm not fired. It's okay, Kim. You can take an L. I took an L before. I took an L in January. You can take an L. No, no. This like, is a total L from you. It's fine. There's nothing between wrong Between me you and you, sometimes. you are fired. Like, go go you, look at the LulCow Twitter. You can, like, you right can now. Be, you I'm going to post it officially. It's okay. It's okay for you to be a cow sometimes. Officially. There's nothing wrong with you being a cow sometimes. It's funny, Kim. It's oh, funny. no. Yeah, the poll 90% to me. Yeah, I know exactly. Keem, there's nothing wrong with you being a cow sometimes. It's funny. You need to relax. Official tweet on Low Call Live. Connor has been fired. Like, you're fired. No, no you, you need to. You are. It's not, you're, not, you're not the boss. Tommy's the boss. If he wants to fire me for, for talking shit to you, then he can. It's up to him. Okay, well, then if, if that's the case, then I fire Tommy. <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, Who's sending you just... the paychecks? Is Tommy sending the paychecks or am I sending everyone's, the paychecks? Everyone's making the money. What are you talking about? You... I mean, yeah, like. It's. <laughs> It's funny, DK was arguing that earlier with, uh, was it Smaggle in chat? He was saying, well, Tommy's in charge. Tommy's in charge. Well, he's pay who's sending the money? Who's sending the fucking money, dude? <laughs> it's a complete cope. What are you talking about? You're going to withhold the money from people because you're mad that I talk shit about you? What are you talking no, about? No, I'm telling you you're fired. You you're are fired. With what you okay, so let me get this clear. You are, you're, you're fired. Wait, 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 hold on. You're threatening There's to withhold no threat. the paycheck. You're fired. No, no, no. You're threatening no, to withhold the paycheck. No, you're fired. Because you're mad you're that actually I'm talking fired. shit about you. You're, you're actually threatening fired. Withhold, you're threatening to withhold the paychecks because you're mad that I talk shit about you. That, just to be clear, that's what you're doing. No, you said Tommy so is it, the only one. No, no, you no. said, wait, hold you on. Said you said Tommy, hold on. You said Tommy was the only that, one that can fire you. All the cows together can fire me. If they vote to fire me, then they can. But realistically, uh, you mishandled I'm the show. The wait, what? Oh, wait, sorry. Where did this become? What is it called? Dude, it's taking me back to market socialism shit. What is it? Yeah, it's exactly DK. Yeah, is it a co-op now? Oh, it's a co-op now. Actually, no, it's a co-op. Everyone's got to vote on it. What is he on about, dude? When did fucking Keemstar become a communist, exactly?
Oh, by myself. You're fired. No, you're not. You mishandled yes, the show. I am. No, you're not. You mishandled the show. You're fired. You, dro you dropped the ball. It was an L on your part. It's okay to admit that. You spent the time crying about it. You should have made it with the cows. You could have made it so much more entertaining. Bro, if you, you don't, don't want to accept it, that's up to you. But you are fired. Just say so you know. no. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he rage quit. I mean, he ran. So. <laughs> Dude, he just rage quit. Does it? So Connor doesn't realize he's actually fired. And it, do you think this is part of a joke? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's so, uh, Connor still has access to the Lowcow Live YouTube channel, apparently. I'm guessing Keem will probably re uh, redact uh, your access to that soon. But you also said that, like, Keem tells you this all the time. Like, you're fired, you're fired. So, like, maybe he won't. <laughs> maybe there's just another boy you cried wolf. And, uh... Well, okay. I mean, realistically, if Keem, if all the cows come together and say, you made content for the show by talking shit about Keemstar, you're gone. Then I guess I'll leave. But Keem, if he's mad that I'm willing to argue and fight with him and make content for the show, he can suck. He can suck it up and, and deal with it. He'll be fine. It's not the big. It's not a big deal. He's okay. Dude, the plot armor test. So true. <laughs> it's not plot like armor. You crawl, it's like you crawl in under the dumpster. All the zombies are gonna be like, "I'm gonna eat you." You're like, "Nope, I'm under the dumpster, dude." Dude, you. <laughs> if you're not fired after this, I mean, like, I guess this has happened to you before, but this is like the first time, maybe like publicly, that one of these calls has been. Uh, no, I mean, I called him. Uh, I had the stream with him when I was talking shit. Or not talking shit, when he was mad at me for the shorts or whatever. That that, was, that did happen. But, oh, uh, but was he even... I didn't watch I that. Was like, he that mad? Like, was he as mad as he is in now? No, he was not that mad. He was coping now. I could hear him, like, cope laughing. <laughs> I could hear him cope laughing while he was talking. But that was I mean, that was good content. If he's mad about content, then you can, you can just cry about it. Yeah, it's good content. Um, <laughs> so yeah, people were saying so. They're like, Boblack's really helping out with the, the content drought. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Uh, confusing opinions yeah. is five dollars. Connor, I'm coming for your job, little boy. Better run. I don't know if you can handle working with the uh, work with Keemstar. I mean, you, you kind of need some kind of need some balls of steel work with yeah. Keemstar. And Bobby B with twenty dollars. Bobblack's coming in clutch with the content today. True. I, pro your guys Jesus, are welcome, man. dude. I made cool. that all happen. Did, is this how Augie feels when he gets a bunch of donos for like work that me or Nick do on his streams? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, thanks for the content. The yeah, I mean, if I went on Dark Viper's stream and said everything I know about Judge Private Life, that would be content. How can chat chat be mad about content? I mean, yeah, it's just like, dude, what? There's got to be some lines in the sand, surely. It's so, you know. Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that Robocop scene. <laughs> you know, when like uh, Dick Jones is saying, I used to have a go at my boss. One time I called him asshole, but there was always respect. And then he sends a guy to kill him. You know what I'm talking about? I probably can't play because I get fucked by content ID. That's what makes me think of. Doggy, <laughs> yeah. But dude, but dude. I d don't Probably worry, sure. guys. I deserve it. D d do you guys? Do you know how many times I was on fucking Augie stream, spitting flames, and then Augie has a hundred dollar donation? Well, I think it's more so for me. I think it's like to if if I was in Keemstar's position, okay, I would presume that it was the kind of attempt, and I didn't watch the whole segment, so maybe there was even more. But it, it seemed to me to be this kind of effort to, you know, undress Keemstar's insecurities. That that probably, I would guess, is what led to that kind of aggressive, oh my god, I'm going to get rid of you type thing, maybe. But, yeah. Damn. Bowie W, yes! $100 to Augie. <laughs> I don't think you it's know, fake drama. I, 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 Augie owes me at least like 5k, I swear, dude. But, not <laughs> actually, not actually. But, you know. If we were to count up those times, it would probably be a lot, but... But the thing is, num num calls. you're viewing this from the perspective of a shitter in chat, okay, that wants content, and that's fine. You're more within your rights to, to, to say that, right? But you want the content, so you're looking at this from that perspective, and you're not looking at it from the perspective of the fucking guy that's running the whole thing. You know? Like, I get it. I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm not saying you can't shit on Keemstar and stuff. But acting like what Connor was doing was just well within the realms of making content and, you know, just talking a bit of shit about the show and, and having a bit of Tom Foolery like that. It's clearly more, you know? We share the content around here. It's oh, I'm yes. going to call for my, uh, for my boss. Oh, shit. So a private call? I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, I'm going to private call. All Your right. stream can be watched back, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can watch it back. All right. All right. I'll, thanks uh, for coming I'll be back. On, bro. I'll be back. All right. Dude, what the fuck? Keem's cooking my content. Wait. So, okay. Anyway, Keemstar calls in solo, so maybe we get a bit more there. And, uh, and yeah, then we'll, uh, we'll look at some of the other fallout of this. Jeez, man, this, this is crazy, but I think it's real. I think it's actually real drama. Right? Yo. 
Yo, what's up, dude? What's so up? listen, <clears throat> I, when he was on here, I, I couldn't literally speak. I couldn't say okay, anything. That's wonderful. Um, so but I want to say my piece um, since he was on here and uninterrupted and got to fucking call me retard. And... Agreement. We have voted and you are now fired. Thank you for the 333. Appreciate it. Keem failed in all this. First of all, what I was going to say when I spoke to him is like, yes, all right? Maybe I could have done more this week. Yes, Wings fucked up. Wings didn't show up, right? But the goddamn docket that he showed, because I went back to the stream, that he's showing you on stream was not the docket that he sent me. It's not the same fucking docket. Did he Ooh. add more after? Or did shit get glitched and I didn't see it on stream? You could, If you watch the stream, I go to the end of the docket. There's no more on there, all right? Unless maybe I fucked up and I didn't see page two, page glitched. three, or whatever. But I'm calling the dude. Bro, what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> he's not blinking. Rare Bo Black's face cam. Dude. All right, because because the thing about the EDP, I did see that on the docket before, and then during the live stream, I didn't come across it. So I think maybe like I I missed a page, right? But regardless, the docket fucking sucked. The docket Sorry, blew. Black's all right, I gave him direct instructions, Bo Blacks. I said, listen, there's a bunch of fan art. A bunch of fans have been doing some stuff. I want to show that, and then we'll get into some tea. We'll watch some clips, and I'll call the boys, and we'll react to it. And there just wasn't a lot there. Like I called him. I want to say maybe like five hours after I gave him the task to do this. And uh, I go, what did you get done? He goes, nothing. <laughs> he goes, oh, there's a few things in there. But like he, he had 24 hours. He didn't do this. He did it last minute. And uh, it was half ass. And I'm just sick of the way the dude talks to me. Like, you're my fucking employee. How are you talking to me like this? So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like with the way you guys were discussing, I'm like, are you, is this like typical for like you guys, like where you no. argue this much? No, he, no, he came, no, we don't argue privately. Um, he came on here and he was just talking shit. Didn't think I'd ever hear it. And your fans started spamming me on Twitter saying Connor's talking shit. And I click on and he's like literally saying I'm doing forced drama. What, Bobax, what is forced drama? Can you explain this to me? What, 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 what exactly is that? I mean, it's, yeah, it's very obvious. It's extremely obvious that Keemstar is incredibly bothered by these claims that he does forced drama on the show. Um, and yeah, I, I, like the biggest example to me is that plagiarism thing where Boogie, Boogie put out a video that literally in some places was copying almost word for word this other person's video. And the other person's video was like unlisted on their channel. And they did, they did a call out of Boogie on an, it ended up being an unlisted video. And it just all looked very weird. And like, how did this happen? Like, it just feels like you've created a plagiarism drama out of nothing or something, you know? Um, that's like just one example off the top of my head. But I think it's not even that it's forced. Well, I guess that... Like, it's not created out of nothing necessarily, but a mountain can get made out of a molehill with certain t stories for the purposes of, you know, making the content, it feels like. But anyway... It's when you agree with someone to do something that's like performative and it's like fake drama, like you forced it, like it oh, didn't so happen. Fake. Or... So, so fake drama. Yeah. Like, stage set up. Yeah. There has never been any staged or set up thing on Lolcow in the history of Lolcow. Like maybe I'll have like a surprise guest that one of the hosts doesn't know about, you know. But there's no, there's nothing is fake. Like what is the, what is the, what is the forced drama on Wolkow? I would like an example. I thought that bit that happened um, during like a podcast that was like a couple weeks ago. Uh, you had this bit where like this girl came, called in and she was saying that like you sexually harassed her because you made this like video to her in DMs oh, where if you look at that the mirror. Was, yeah, yeah. That was a clear bit, but not for me. I had no involvement in the bit. They did that on their own. All right. Well, that's the only example of forced drama that I've seen of the show, but I... Only I've watched like a couple episodes. I don't really watch it consistently at all. And, so. and I'm literally laughing. I'm laughing and reacting to it because I know they're doing a bit and I'm like sarcastic. And then when it was done, I was like, ah, that was a funny bit. Da, 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 da. You know, like, dude, all of a sudden her dad starts spamming the chat. Keemstar sent inappropriate uh, messages to my daughter. Da, da, da. And so I'm seeing this in the chat. I'm like, what the fuck? What is he talking about? So then I go to the. Oh, man, dude. Yeah, that's that is a Keemstar L on that because that's the thing with Grace Thorpe and Grace Thorpe's dad is. If you give them a scrap of attention, they will go fucking insane on it. Like, you know. I remember when I spoke about them one time, like, the Grace Thorpe's dad was like in chat complaining and then tweeted about me. And then I just, I realized they were just desperate for attention. And so I just, you know, kind of moved on and didn't really deal with it further. 
But yeah, they will grasp onto anything they can for any shred of relevancy. Like, for example, do you know that at one point they were in Vosh's chat? They were in fucking Vosh's chat trying to get him in on the fucking drama. It was crazy, the levels that, you know, they were going to. But yeah, very cringe. The DMs. And I'm like, what are they talking about? And then I pause the video, and it looks like I'm not wearing underwear, but I clearly have underwear on because I was running on the treadmill, right? Yeah. But just oh, the way it looks, right? And then they made this big this? thing and acted like they were upset and all that other thing. But it's not, it's not, st I didn't set that up. I, I had no involvement in that. I was just reacting to it in real time, and they're the ones that were doing a bit. And so I got my own fucking editor on here saying that I'm doing forced drama. Like, it, it's not just he's talking shit and being disrespectful, but he's like talking shit on the fucking show. And bro, that docket was garbage. If you put me in task of uh, building a docket, right? It would be phenomenal. Like if I had, you know, a full 24 hours, right? And is, as far as him saying that I did nothing for the show, I was on the Reddit, I was looking at some stuff, I'm checking wings and boogie. There's nothing like I can really sink my teeth in, right? So Connor did have a hard task because I couldn't find anything, but then I see his docket and it's like not impressive at all. Like if I had a whole day to put my time and energy towards building a docket, I'd have something good. It doesn't even have to be related to lol cow. Maybe there's a good story. You're sitting here talking about stuff right now. Like I have other employees, by the way, Tommy C doesn't have employees, right? He's got volunteers wings and boogie. They don't have employees. They don't know what it's like. They have employees. They work their fucking asses off. They grind and the, they never talk shit to me ever. Ever. I'm, I'm their book. I'm their goddamn boss. I get a docket built every day for fucking drama. But the thing is, okay. I thought there's one argument here that, like, the point of it was you create drama by arguing and stuff. No? Was that not, like, one aspect of the show? The drama of the editor and the allegation of stage drama is stage... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm alert. Gino has like nine pages for me every single day. Now, granted, this is like a novelty thing, right? So... I mean, but the thing is, though, is... When I've spoken to Tommy about this before he has been like quite cautious to like not say like i remember I, I, I did if anyone saw i can't remember exactly but if you were there i asked him something about it and it, i think he kind of ref alluded to the idea that he needs to be careful because he didn't want to just shit talk the boss so to speak you know we, we have access to less uh less stuff but like maybe there's other an, another lol cow out there that's in, involved in some type of story that we can react to or whatever there's got to be something that's related to this show all right but yeah, I, I dropped the ball this week, and I and I will take full accountability for it. Uh, Wings didn't show up, even though he said he was going to show up. He says saying that he's sing, uh, sick or whatever. Um, and, and then, you know, you get to this docket, which was a piece of shit, and Connor won't take any accountability whatsoever, and he's blaming everyone else. So I, I can't deal with it. And this isn't like an after-the-fact thing. I said on the fucking show tonight, I failed. I, I suck. El Keem. I literally had to chat spam El Keem, right? But when it comes to him and his job, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't, it was all keen. And he's sitting here calling me fucking retard and shit like that. I'm sorry, but at some point, I let this dude disrespect me a couple weeks ago, when, or back in January when he didn't do his job for fucking two weeks. I'm not letting him fucking disrespect me like that again. Go fuck yourself. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the other thing with it, too, is that um, there was a previous drama with, with Connor where he was considered to not be doing his job correctly. I remember he was arguing about YouTube shorts or something like that. Something along those lines. So yeah, this seems like a cumulative effect of the previous one and now this one. Yeah. Hired. He said that um like the way that he's paid is that it's like he gets like a, a certain percentage from like the lol cow generated no, revenue. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Connor gets paid two grand every it's month, no matter what. Now. Yeah, but he's saying that he's getting paid out of the lol cow's pocket. So it's like not your money, but it's like your money, like Tommy, uh, Wings, and Boogie. So like they should all have a say in whether he's fired or not because. Wait, is wait, wait. what is that? Is was that agreed? That's a co-op situation. I they do that. Well, they technically do have a say if he's fired or not. But Bo Blacks, yeah. I will go to Wings, Boogie, and Tommy, and I've already told him this. I'll, I'll say, okay. Um, you guys now have to decide whether or not Connor's fired. But if you want to keep him on as the editor. I'm leaving the project. <laughs> Who are they going to pick? Keemstar or Connor? You know? So he is fired. There's no debate about it. Like, he is fired. Like, there's no way Tommy C, Wings, and Boogie are going to pick Connor over me. And I already have a new editor. So, like, yeah, I guess they do have a say, but it will be me or him. I guess we could uh, have them all vote and weigh in and see what happens. Yeah, the way you guys were fighting, I'm surprised that 
I would be surprised if he was still employed after that, you know? So. Yeah, I can't work with someone like that. I can't work with someone like that. And, and here's the thing. Dictator. Yeah. Welcome to like how every single business in the world is run. Yes. The person that runs it. I mean, they, look, we're getting into the fucking lefty shit. Okay. But uh, basically, yeah, that's how businesses operate is you got a person at the top who gets a final say on everything. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, we'll look at uh, Connor's Reddit post and we'll also look at him going on the biggest problem too, I think. Thing, if I fucked up on the docket, right? If there was stuff that like I missed or whatever, he should have said that. He should have said that. He should have said, hey, look, there was this story uh, that you missed. It was on page two, but I went through the entire docket on fucking stream. I didn't even see the fucking EDP four thing. Four, four, five things. So I don't know if the docket got fucked up or what took place. But no, as soon as I joined the call, he's fucking interrupting me and fucking calling me retard and this and that. And dude, in that moment when he's interrupting me, I just made a decision in my head. I'm like, okay, you're fired. <laughs> Bye. I'm not. Wait, okay. So, I mean, it could be being dishonest and maybe he'd already thought of it before. But from the sounds of it then, from his word at least, it was only at that point he decided to fire him. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like a, you know, like local podcast. I've watched a few episodes on stream and it's it's kind of fits in quite well with some of the stuff I like to, to do sometimes. But it's just something a little bit off about the whole thing, you know? It's not organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like organic, you know? Yeah, a bit forced. It's, it is, it's difficult to run a show, like having a single topic. Would you go on if Tommy invited you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, why not? Be a good uh, opportunity for me because it's got a big audience. Um, But yeah, I don't know. It just... I mean, I think I watched this. I think this was fun. I think I like this, but then I was interested in this drama anyway. If it was organic, well, yeah, of course it would be. Yeah. Be careful. Well, I'm halfway there already, aren't I? Hey, my kiwi farms thread in the future, maybe. But no, at the end of the day, I think that it's a fine concept. Difficult to do. I don't know. It's it's rough. It's tough. It's a tough. It's a tough fucking thing to run. And the idea is good. I think losing DSP was, or not having DSP on it was a big a big L. Like DSP, I think would have brought things together. That was a big a big L. And you know, Boogie's kind of just an annoying and irritating to listen to. Wings at first seemed to be like the kind of giga chad dude because there wasn't much attention on him and then he started to freak out a bit when he got a bit of heat yeah working with you anymore like the fact that you're just fucking interrupting me and the fact that you think you can talk to me like that is mind-blowing um so uh you know that's that's it i've said my piece that's my side of things fuck yourself connor go fuck yourself you might be muted oh i i thought you were gonna like leave after that i'm so used to like you doing a rant and then just like leaving after that. So I was like, I oh, was no, expecting it, you to hang up. So. If, if you if you have any other questions, if not, I'm going to go. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have any questions. It's just, uh, yeah, that that happened. So yeah, have a yeah. good night, dude. All right, see you, man. I was way too high for that. Holy shit. Oh my God, bro. I was like, I think I have something else to say, but um, what was it? Oh yeah, I guess like I would have, I already said it earlier, but like I would have liked if uh, Boogie could have live react live reacted to what Dick Masterson was saying about him and his girlfriend because I thought like that part of the docket that I the corner calls in again. Oh, yo, hello, can you hear me? Yes. What's up? <laughs> yo, what's up? What's up? I didn't watch all of Kim Solo call. I was busy making some other calls. I did watch just the first part though. I don't know why he's saying the EDP part wasn't in the docket because I have the edit history. I can see that it was in there the whole time, and that's why I posted that he deleted the Grace Thorpe part. I don't know why he's saying that wasn't in there. To me, what it seems like happened is he doesn't like me, obviously, which, you know, I mean, sure. It, it, I talk to him. He doesn't like me. I think it's entertaining. I don't give a fuck. I'm not that offended, but whatever. He didn't like me.
So he wanted to pretend that the docket was bad, pretend it was shit, so he can then blame me for it. It's like, what are you talking about? You know, I, I understand he's saying now I'm not fully to blame, but you're the guy who runs the show. You're the star of the show. Like you should be doing the entertainment. Like you can bring on a show without me setting it up. You, you have that talent. You've been doing YouTube for 10, 15 years. You know what I mean? But anyway, let me just show you the edit history to show just for proof that it was never deleted. Right. This is the edit he made. He made seven minutes before the show started of him deleting the Grace Thorpe thing right before the show went live. He came and reviewed it and took out the Grace Thorpe thing, which is fine. I mean, you know, kind of killing the content. You could have read the replies. That's okay. And here it is right here, EDP defending Boogie and IG comments. Um, then later, some retard came in. I guess they found the link because I left the link on for anyone to edit. So some retard came in. Somehow, Tommy sees like, son's <laughs> autistic. Yeah, like 7 looks PM, autistic. I like, that was like way past. That was way past anything. But f five minutes for the show, this is how it looked. EDP defending Boogie. Everyone to make sure and Blade. We could talk about that. Tommy playing more encrypt channels. Channel, we could talk about that. Separate questions of Boogie really died from on his lawn. I mean, we could have had all. But we could have reacted to all this crap. I mean, do you really believe he'll die? Because you're my 78 grandpa's open heart surgery. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff to read here. Who did more damage to Boogie? This would have been awesome. Look at this poll. This would have broken Boogie's fucking brain. Who did more damage to Boogie? Frank Hathel, Flaming Star. Hold the fucking chat. Who do you guys think fucking. Honestly, pull your chat right now. Let's just make it the content right now. Pull your chat. Who did more damage to Boogie? Frank Hassel or Flaming Star? Dude, you know, is, you got... is Boogie, does Boogie hate Flaming Star now? Oh, yeah. He fucking went to his house or something. Yeah, I mean, that might be good. Anyway. Ugh. Let's have a look and see what uh, what else can I have to say. Keemstar fired me because he has thin skin. Last night, Keemstar melted down on Bo Blacks' live stream because I went on and return fire back to him about how horribly he ran the show. First, he debated me and got caught lying. Then he called in later solo and continued to lie. Lied that he manages me and my content output. That is not true. Tommy C was designated to manage me. <laughs> this just feels like cope. Like, regardless of what the structure is in the day-to-day -day operation, um, Keemstar, it's Keemstar's show. Yeah, Keemstar is the one that fucking delegated that to Tommy in the first place. Dude, this is cope, man. Come on. Are we really saying that we don't think that Keemstar is the fucking is the big the big boss of the show? <laughs> yeah, like it's like saying the CEO isn't my boss. Actually, it's my manager's job to 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 manage me. The CEO is kind of irrelevant in all of it. And him and I have a whole group chat where we send constant updates of what's going on. I rarely speak to Keemstar about my output. It's not his job. Indeed. When I showed the full block docket to Bo Blacks, he made up the lie that the docket got glitched and everything got deleted. There was proof he edited the docket five minutes before going live to remove his post about Grace Thorpe. I mean, yeah, like I think there's some Keemstar cope around the docket. I think that's a fair comment. After he was shown the full docket, which he intentionally ignored, he ran with two contradictory narratives. There was nothing on the docket and the docket was there, but it glitched. Here's the full docket. So there it is. Flash banged over here, Jesus. Good Lord. Yeah, there it is. Edit history's on the right side. I don't think, listen, I, I, I am, I am in agreement of the cope of Keemstar's coping up the docket. I'm fully, uh, I'm in agreement with that. I don't need to look into that any further. Okay. But yeah, I guess, dude, I guess there is a disagreement here, isn't there, about the actual what's in here. Hmm. Keemstar is no boss. He's just an internet brain retard. I mean, this <laughs> one's paying you two grand a month to do something for them. I mean, they're your boss, yeah. The most obvious attempt to force drama by intentionally bombing the stream and throwing me under the bus for his own incompetence. How Keem failed the fans miserably. Connor's just signed his own fucking death warrant here. Okay, that's wonderful. No, but how do I make money off depressed people? Three this dude euros is from tracks seventy-two. You're not the direct boss of me. Maybe the three euros. Who is going to look at this and go, "Yep, yeah, that's the guy I want to work with"? Doing a big old Reddit post about all your issues with the thing. Why wouldn't Keem fire me if I talk smack about him? 
Well, Keem acts like we have a professional work environment and you can't talk to your boss that way as if, as if this is a McDonald's and he's professional and he doesn't openly talk shit about me for content. I have no issue playing along with it. I, I just, I think that Connor's idea of where that, that line lies is way beyond what I would think it would lie at, you know? It's funny, but the problem is he can't take it back. So he has to use it to justify farming because he has thin skin. Deleted his embarrassing Grace Thorpe Coke post from the docket. Didn't even read the post I put in there criticizing myself. Delayed the stream for the second week in a row because he couldn't come up with any content. So he put the responsibility on me. His one job for LCL, by the way. But I still went beyond my role as the editor and collected plenty for content. Reviewed the Dick Show clip, stock it solo. I mean, that isn't, uh, you be, surely bring the cows on to do that. Also, as unfair as it can be, you can't talk to your boss how they can talk to you. Yeah, it's, it's just people are using this idea that, oh, it's fucking online and stuff to, to act like the line is way, way further than it should be. That's it, as far as I'm concerned. Reviewed the Dick Show. Didn't talk about EDP. Didn't read the subreddit's opinions on if Boogie would really die from Ernest Lawn. Didn't poll the chat on if Frank Castle or Flaming Star did more damage to Boogie. Didn't come up with fat Olympics ideas for the two fattest cows on the podcast. Try to bring Blade in randomly later, but not shoe nice against the fans' wishes. Maybe don't moan when you get fired for calling your notoriously thin-skinned boss a lazy retard. I mean, I think I think we've got, you know, even if you think Keemstar's in the wrong, I think you must surely agree that this was inevitable with the way that he was acting, right? It's just, it's obvious, isn't it? Act as if there's nothing there. Hires a new editor within 10 minutes. New guy works for his UFO company, by the way, so he obviously had this planned. Pro probably. He probably, you know, wasn't happy with what was being done. Ignored Tommy defending me over the docket and Boogie saying, I've been nothing but great for the show since January. Since the January fiasco, I've done everything in my job description and more. I guess only people on the show could attest to this. I don't, I don't know. If he wanted to fire me back then, he should have. But he said he kept me around for two months and decided to force a fake narrative to justify it. I mean, he paid you in those months, I assume, though, right? So if that was true, you got a couple of extra grand out of it. I went beyond my job and did his job for him, content gathering, after he failed to do so two weeks in a row. Yeah, it feels like he's very content-brained. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Anyway, let's get through this and then we'll see Keemstar's video response. Um, then he refused to read the docket and intentionally bagged the whole st stream. What's even the point of going live for a Reddit review? He would rather play games with me than put on a watchable show for you guys involving the subreddit and community. And when I decide to play along, he has thin skin and fires me. <laughs> Lastly, he didn't even debate me and make content out of it on Lyle Cow Live. He needs to get on his hands and knees and beg for forgiveness like he made Boogie do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Bit with Keemstar, Keemstar calling in. And then, yeah the uh, uh, Grace Thought post getting removed. Anyway, I don't care. Just, I mean, unlike the low cow live show, I don't care what Redditors think. But, oh, wrong thing. Um, so low cow live responded with this. <laughs> Connor works at McDonald's now. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen of Lolcow, I feel like I need to update you on some things. We have fired the editor, and the editor is now trying to push a narrative that Keemstar sucks. Keemstar doesn't do anything for Lolcow. Uh, you know, Keemstar failed, and he tried to blame everything on Connor, the editor, for the bad docket, right? Not true. First of all, I said in the stream... El Keem. Everybody spam El Keem. I failed. It was a shitty show. 
I fucked up. So I, I took full accountability in the moment, right? But there were the other things that failed. The docket was complete shit. Wings didn't even show up, right? There were failures all around. That is not why Connor got fired. And speaking about the fucking docket, right? Apparently there was a page and a half and on stream, I was only seeing one page. Like I didn't see the other page, right? And again, I called Connor multiple times, right? During the stream, wouldn't answer the fucking phone. So there were a few things I missed, but regardless, uh, another thing that Connor has been say saying publicly is that I made him make that docket last minute. No, it was a full 24 hours to build the docket. Um, but regardless, I was planning this, on firing that. Connor for the shitty End fucking docket, docket conversation, right? Because it wasn't good, even though I did miss stuff. Uh, another narrative that Connor's trying to push is that I wouldn't react to um, the post that I made on Reddit about Grace and how I'm not trying to fuck Grace and the reasons why she was on. The reason why I didn't react to that last night on stream is because I already publicly said it on last week's show. All right. I mean, look, they, they, maybe he did. I don't know. But just, <laughs> did he respond to it? Guys, to anyone that watches regularly? It just, it seems more likely that it was, you know. Oh, you fucking, I don't want to go over that now, right now. <laughs> the, the, the post about Grace Thorpe, the Grace Thorpe post. Hey, all documented. I already addressed the whole thing. So I'm not going to regurgitate the same fucking thing over and over again. Um, the reason why Connor got fired is Bo Blacks was streaming last night with Connor and Connor was just sitting there talking all kinds of crazy shit. And I found out about the stream because fans at Lolka were spamming me about it. And I go in there. I'm like, this is fucking crazy that they're just on a stream right now is saying all this shit about me. So I went on the stream and he kept interrupting me every time I spoke. And then he's calling me a retard. And he's calling me this. Bro, you're my fucking employee. You don't talk to me like that. Like, who the fuck are you? So I fired him. Right. So now he's running on this narrative like, oh, you have thin skin like he didn't react to the comments. Is is it a thing on Lolcow Live that Reddit comments get reacted to then? Is that like a thing? I just... is it If it's a regular thing that they do, then so be it. But I don't think that responding to Reddit comments is, uh, is generally good content. Unless it's something for the show, maybe, but... You're just the, the real retard is you, Connor. Go try to talk to your boss like that anywhere else in the fucking world. I have so many fucking employees and I got dockets built for me every day for, for by Gino for drum alert that are nine pages long. All right. Like I have employees and none of them talk to me like that and they all work. They all grind, all right? So it, it, it's not just that I have these complaints about your work. It's also that you're a disrespectful fucking asshole, right? You, you don't, I'm your boss. You don't talk to me. What's this? All you need to know about the Connor guy is that you put react to Grace Thorpe on a content list. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The Reddit comments were the theme of the live stream. me like that fucking and, and as far as thin skin i'm not thin skin all right the internet talks shit about me all the time i could take it all day long you've seen it on the show all right but you're my employee you're not gonna talk to me like that if you think that's oh makes me thin skin then what so be it right yeah i just this is the, the one element that i think people are getting totally wrong about this is this idea that oh well it's it's the point of the show yeah, to a point. Not to the level that Connor was doing it. Look, I agree with you that he was sawing out and being cringe over the docket. He was being very gay about the docket. Okay? 100%. I'm fucking on board with that criticism. It's just so crazy to me that people are acting like Connor was totally in the realms of reasonable shit talking for that kind of show when he was trying to break apart all of his fucking insecurities and shit with Boblax. Like, clearly, it was too much. And Keemstar didn't like it. I mean, yeah. 
it, I guess all the bosses in America are thin skinned then because no other boss would allow you to call them retards and fucking all this other horse shit that you're doing, Connor. Um, we do have a new editor. We hired a new editor right away. Um, Lol, you guys are anti SJWs. Why should we care when you guys get butt hurt unless. <laughs> Sorry, Violet, who's asking you to care about anything? What are you on about? I'm not, a, what, I'm not an anti SJW either. I'm very woke, actually. I'll have you know. Okay? Um, uh, I expect, like, uh, the Augie, Bo Blacks, Nicholas Diorio crew to. I'll run some fucking campaign that Connor wasn't treated nice. Or oh, hang on. Oh, um, but th they would just be fucking retarded. Like if oh. they tried to make any of these fucking claims, oh, um, no. you know, most people have had real jobs on like uh, that whole group and they would know right off the bat, like, oh, wait, yeah, you don't talk to your boss that way. You, you don't act that way. Um, also the fans have been begging us to fire, uh, Connor the entire time. And even when he didn't like do his job for two weeks by putting the show on Spotify, remember when I confronted him about that and he was like talking shit to me, <laughs> like on live stream about him not doing his job. Like you don't like, it's, no, we can't, we can't work with someone like that. That's not going to be an actual employee. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's why he's gone. And the false narrative of, um, I won't take accountability for the shitty show and I'm just blaming Connor for it. Uh, no. All right. I fucked up. I fucked up. My show sucked and I'm taking accountability for it. Connor is not fired for the shitty docket. Connor is fired because when I caught him talking shit about me and I went to go speak to him, he kept interrupting me. He wouldn't even let me speak. So he is fired. He is gone. Um, also, Connor's like holding the uh, logins to like the Spotify stuff uh, hostage. I asked him for that and uh, he didn't give it to me. Uh, so we are going to be filing uh, or sending a cease and desist. I just got off the phone with my lawyers. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that, that needs to happen like, uh, legally. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the gist of the story right now. Again, I'm taking accountability for my fuck ups. Connor is not fired for the shitty docket he made. That is not the reason he's fired for fucking talking shit to me, calling me retard, interrupting me on a fucking public live stream and not letting me even fucking speak after he had free reign to just sit there and say whatever the fuck you want spinning false narratives, right? That he was fired because of the soap Keemstar not taking accountability or that Keemstar uh, avoided the whole grace post because you know, it, it made me feel embarrassed or whatever the fucking false narratives he's trying to spin. Uh, none of that is true. You're, you're literally fired for interrupting me. That's why. When you, I was called into Bo Black's stream, you should have sat there and listened to what I had to say. But you decided, no, 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 this is blood sports, and I'm going to interrupt Keem, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to call him names, and I'm not going to let him yeah. speak. You're fired. You now work at McDonald's, motherfucker. <laughs> that, you don't well. work at Lolcow. You're fired. It's that simple. That's why. Yeah, I mean... Huh? It just seems so obvious to me. And people are acting like it's, oh, no, Connor got really badly hard done by. I just don't agree with you. And and this, this, there's such co Oh, well, that's what the show's all about. Not fucking what was happening on that stream and the way that Connor was acting with that attitude. There's no way. But yeah, I obviously can't speak to this holding the hostage thing, you know? One thing that is a massive Keem L, though, 100%, is for some reason, um, Lol Cow Live and Keemstar bo blocked Bo Blacks. <laughs> Which is like, <laughs> why? Maybe because he spoke about it a bit. 
Keemstar could be the shittest boss ever, but it's just bizarre to go on stream and do that shit. Yeah, even even with the oh, it's for the drama, it's for the content, it kind of excuse. It's been under twenty four hours since he was fired. Connor, I'm assuming he's already talking about suing him. Was it over this post? Maybe. Anyway, where's this? Uh, so anyway, <laughs> you know, he went on the biggest problem in the universe afterwards to talk further shit on it. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Why did, he, why did he do that? To the biggest problem in the universe. Let's do this thing. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, yeah. bad luck okay, uh -huh. you just got, uh, Keemstar just fired you from the LolCow podcast, right? Yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, first thing, though, I just wanted to apologize if I'm a little bit low, low energy, y'all. You know, I've been working Don't on the worry, I'm podcast. Gonna... I've been working on the LolCow podcast, listening to it every day for the past five months, so I'm, uh, I'm recovering. God, you, you must know. want to kill yourself. You have to yeah. listen to every episode of that shitty show? Yeah, and make shorts and edit all the make swear sure. words out. So, and know, edit they... the swear words out? Why? Yeah, why do they do that? Yep. I don't know. Keemstar said no swear words. He's got to be green. Podcast got to go green every time. So cut out every swear it word. It doesn't can, matter. Everything. It's only the swear words only matter in the first five minutes. Hey, I mean, it's all to Keem. So <laughs> that's, were, that's what I thought. But you were the editor. Did you have like first cut, last cut of that show? Uh, what do you mean by first cut, last like, cut? Like uh, whatever you, you edited, editing decisions. Yeah, it, it went out. Like whatever you made, it went out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was told like to do certain things, like to edit it certain ways. But yeah, like I would choose like the the content that went out um, with what I was given, of course. I mean. So are you the reason that everyone on that show sounds like a pedophile? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I think that was a thing. Well, like, this I, show. Was I think that was because the it has to be the edit, edit, right? Yeah. I mean, I know those guys. I that was they the like... Editing out swears is an ancient Chinese myth. Everyone has a different length of time you need to cut them for. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure now it's like what the first seven seconds or something. It's uh, you know. Yeah, it's it's they've actually gotten better recently, I think. But yeah, name of the show. <laughs> they like yeah. telling you they're not intentional, right? Yeah, it's to bully them about being pedophiles. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so why <laughs> did you get now? So you, you you've been editing the show for how long? Uh, five months. Five, months. five months. That's a good run. And oh, they were paying, so much work. They were. Paying, it is a lot of work, honestly. Yeah. How how many shows would you be editing a week? I'd be doing like two podcasts a week, plus like uploading shorts on every day that we're not doing podcasts. Yeah. Um, Full time job, yeah. it sounds like. Pretty much, yeah. Full time. Yeah, working on it every week. every day, Monday through Friday. Basically, yeah, pretty much every day, you know, making sure the podcast is green. I, okay, I do not believe that for a fucking second, okay? Really? That's a full-time job? Really? DK, I need you to weigh in on this. Do you think that's, does that sound like a full-time job to you as an editor? I didn't do the titling, you know, the... the Okay, I'll go back just so you can hear it. Just so you specifically can hear it. You'd be editing a week. I'd be doing like two podcasts a week, plus like uploading shorts on every day that we're not doing podcasts. Yeah. Um, Full-time job, yeah. it sounds like. Pretty much, yeah. Full-time. Working on it every, every day, Monday through Friday? Basically, yeah. Pretty much every day, you know, making sure the podcast is green. I didn't do the titling, you know, the, the terrible titles. That's all Keemstar, but pretty much everything else was, uh, was up to me. How much did you get paid for that? I was getting paid 2K a month to do that. 2K a month. Sounds like, uh, well, honestly, for the amount of work, I was going to say, it doesn't sound like a lot. The podcast episodes are an hour long, I believe. Two podcasts and clips. Well, let's let's look. Let's see. Let's see the uh, you know. I mean, also, really, you're you're saying you willingly did a full time job for just two k per month, twenty eight thousand dollars per annum. That seems quite low. I mean, I don't know what his expenditure is, but I would have thought you need more money than that to. Uh, survive in the American capitalist hellscape that exists. So yeah, there's like that each episode is about an hour long. He could probably work one full time day on Monday and be set for the rest of the week, if I had to guess. I work a similar gig and I can do maybe four to five hours in one day and get seven days worth of clips. I mean, <laughs> that's DK's take. That's my editor's take, at least. I don't know anything about editing. I literally haven't got a clue. You put editing software in front of me, I'd be like, what is this? How does this even work? Clueless. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you do the math, if I'm working like 30 hours a week on it, I'm making 15 bucks an hour. So, you know, it's about, yeah. <laughs> but of course I assume it comes with the promise that, well, this will scale once the show is making more money. Was there talk of more money? Um, not like a percentage wise. No, it was a no. flat rate. I make two K no matter what. How much is Boogie so. make? Well, here's the thing, you know, I'll tell you exactly how much it makes because it's not it's not even really a, a leak. They've actually publicly yeah. talked about it. Yeah. Okay, that's I, wonderful. I mean, but how do I make money off depressed people? Connor is a commentary guy, so he knows everything. Whoever Keem got will never be able to fully replace him. Thanks for the 333. I just to me, it sounds off. It sounds off that that would be a full time gig doing that level of work. It just sounds it sounds like it's over egg in the pudding of how much effort it would be. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, really? That that level of work would be full time? I mean, full time to me is what is like 37.5, 40 hours a week or something like that. You know, eight or nine days, five days a week. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't buy it personally. Um, you know, Keem said that once the show started making 10K a month, he would start taking a cut, right? So. Yeah. He just started taking a cut, so they've just barely crossed that uh, that threshold. But if they're making 10k a month, that means we're making more than them. Well, we individually we are. Yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, you mean well, like total? Total, total? Yeah. Well, we make about 10k a month after everything. We're probably tied. More. What do you mean more? We're making more than 10k. How much are we making on Patreon? Like nine thousand. Yeah, and then we get an extra three or so from YouTube, so we're at about I, twelve. I'm no scientist, but it feels like more than ten. <laughs> I'm saying it's pretty close, Wait, man, though. It's close. It's, it's at least close. twelve. But we're more. We're better. We're better in making more money. I, 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 what are you talking about? Why are you shy about? Yeah. It's this attitude that ran that Domino's into <laughs> the fucking fuck ground. What are you talking about? It's close. We win. Right. What do you mean? Okay, we're winning. I got yeah, it. Why would you resist that? I'm not resisting anything. I'm just Connor. Are we winning or not? It sounds like the it. The math is the winner. Because their show is. I mean, no offense to you, but that show fucking sucks. Right, it's all fake. Oh it's so fake. I mean, it's it's very obviously fake. I, you know, I mean, I think the whole thing he pulled with me was definitely fake. Uh, it was made up in his head, at least. Uh, and Keemstar's amazing content brain. Yeah, well, let's get that out of the way. So, what were you fired for? Because it seems like you were doing a. I mean, you were doing what Keemstar wanted. You were editing the show, making the clips, making everyone look like yeah. pedophiles. Is that fair? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, probably. I won't. I won't get into all the nitty gritty details, but basically, you know, thirty hours is full time. Really, thirty seven point five is, in my mind, the full time, a full time shift per week 30 hours is uh it's, it's getting there but it's still kind of the higher end of part-time yeah 37.5 40 hours. well i think to be honest nowadays i think the dynamic has changed quite a lot and 40 hours is a full-time job i think now uh keemstar he, his one job is to run the live show right he doesn't do the pre-recorded episodes he, he just puts the titles up runs the live show that's it right sorry are you saying um, it's you, do you have an accent or something because it, it, you're saying ruining the live show but it sounds like you're saying oh, runs what do you run keemstar yeah run the live, the live show, show right well, both both of oh, course okay, but yeah. no run the live show that's okay, what I yeah. to say. um and uh yeah so for the second week in a row he couldn't figure out anything to talk about right like he yeah. just couldn't figure out what to talk about uh, one of those classic podcast problems where you, well, don't, yeah. Keem, if you don't have a format or anything you just go well, we'll just shoot the shit we'll just talk about anything that's how the yeah, only well, shows fail. <laughs> so he couldn't figure out. Talk, talk about what he story. knows. Trying to look cool to twenty-five-year-olds. That's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he pushed the job onto me, right? He called yeah. me. He said, "Hey, can you make a docket for me?" Look, I don't get paid to make a docket, but he was like, "It's easy. It's just we're just going to read Reddit." Oh, posts he gave you more work. More work. Oh, yeah, so me produce work. the podcast. But, yeah. Dude, I feel this is coat. This more work thing. It, like these guys are podcasters as well, right? They really think that doing this is like a full-time thing and then more work on top of that. It sounds like he had a fucking cushy fucking gig doing, what, two podcasts a week and clips. Um, so, yeah, Mikeem still wanted a bit more fucking bang for his buck. Five hours per podcast edit and one hour per short is 19 hours a week. Look, I can't speak to it because I'm not an editor, but it just it seems just on the basic knowledge of how content basically operates. It just seems like he's over-egging it. It seems like he's kind of acting like it's more hours than it truly would need to be, you know? Or at the very least, it's full-time hours at an extremely leisurely pace, you know? Not just getting your head down and getting shit done. Especially when you consider that previously they had this dispute about Connor's kind of work ethic and stuff, you know? That's my interpretation, at least.
Yeah. Yeah. And so I did it for free. First mistake, obviously. Nope. You know, yep. I decided to Friends and family discount, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, that's where you went wrong. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that was my first mistake. Um, and so I threw some You're going to have a problem since you're calling in. What is it, like scope creep, creep or something like that? <laughs> Job creep. Uh, Working for an insane person. Yeah. Yeah, Keemstar's thin skin. That's my problem. Keemstar's thin skin is a good thin, one. Thin. Um, but yeah, I said, sure. You know, I threw in y'all show in there as well. I threw in like 10 Reddit posts. I was like, this is yeah. plenty. They have like an hour of content here to talk shit. So, you know, I, I said, you know, not to be dark viper, but you barely edit your content. Um, I mean, DK edits my content, and he's got very different takes. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not the same as low car if you're cutting out the swears and stuff like that. But you know, what you're making an hour pod? Like, how long do you think it takes to put an hour podcast together? Of what's the raw material? What's the raw recording length? Does anyone know? I structured the docket with the idea that they would all come in together. Boogie would be there. They would watch your clip of you saying that Boogie, like, you know, is suicidal, but he's suicide baiting on Twitter. It would yeah. be funny. It'd be interactive. Well, this retard goes live and watches your whole clip by himself. He <laughs> oh, bring my God. In. Wait, why is Keem doing this with the show? Does, pe does Keem think that people are tuning into the Lol Cow podcast for him? To watch him? Yeah, he thinks it's, I guess he thinks it's a Keemstar show. Then I don't just know do what's... the fucking Keemstar show. He has Lol Cow podcast. <laughs> it's, so he watched the clip without Boogie or Wings. Yeah, that, well, I think Wings was sick, but Boogie was waiting in the call. He was ready to come in, and he and then did Keem to explain the clip to him? Was that the thrilling content? Yeah, it was him bringing Boogie in afterwards and being like, "So, what did you think about that?" But that's not the only thrilling content. He also spent the rest, the next like twenty minutes, complaining about how bad the docket was after he refused. Yeah, listen, I'm listen. Obviously, I'm biased. I'm gonna. I think DK's on the money here because even if he listen, if even if it's, he's cutting, it's fifty percent of the runtime. If he listens on two times, it's only going to take an hour. You can't make this a forty plus hour week job. It's impossible. That's kind of my read on it. Yeah. It feels like he's he's overstating how much work it actually is in order to you know favor his argument. I like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so like, Keem is like mentally handicapped. I think <laughs> in some way. <laughs> Where, like, does he not understand that no one is tuning into the Little Cow Podcast to watch oh Keem my Star God. do stuff for twenty? Right. Minutes? Okay. I understand. Right. I understand why Keemstar was so bothered about this. It's because these guys fucking hate Keemstar and just want to shit on him a bunch, right? <laughs> <laughs> right okay i think i'm starting to piece this together a bit more i didn't realize these guys hated keemstar as much as they do i mean it's fine talk your shit it's funny like there's some funny things being said here okay but obviously if the first place you go to in the midst of getting uh getting fired from somewhere is the podcast where the, they hate you where they hate your guts or something <laughs> oh boy to be fair, Keem doesn't have many people that like him. That is true. And then bring everybody else on. Why, yeah, why is why is it his show? It's the, is he, he's not a low cow, right? I mean, he kind of is, but that's oh, not the theme of the is, show. But, yeah, it's supposed to be Boogie. I mean, he even put Boogie in the thumbnail. He titled it like that. We're going to do a Reddit review with Boogie. Yeah. So start the fucking show with Boogie. What is he yeah, doing? Yeah, I know. It's it's this most you know simple. It's most simple idea. Yeah. Yeah, you know Boogie. Yeah, he's a fat guy. I used to freak out all the time. And if yeah. I told you there was a podcast about a big, fat, crazy guy who keeps threatening to kill himself, <laughs> that's not called Biggest Problem in the Universe. <laughs> and it's not okay? mine. And it's not yours either. There's a third one. Big ugly. Oh, and man. you tune in and How you often immediately does he see side bait behind the scenes. How often does Boogie say he's going to kill himself, like in DMs and stuff? Every time he's done it behind the scenes, he he goes on Twitter and does it just as much. Just be real. Yeah, yeah, everybody gets it easy. <laughs> yes, I would watch that. Yeah. Yeah, you'd go, you'd tune in, and then you immediately see a 50 year old man pretending to be a cool 20 something, you know, pretending he's above it all and he's oh, somehow yeah, better than Boogie. Yeah. And you'd go, oh, well, this show sucks. Yeah. yeah, just give me the fat guy being the fat guy. Yeah. And that's not to mention he that's, didn't that's even That's your read, dream. Like... That's what, that what the show people want. Just <laughs> give me the fat he... guy being the fat guy. This I is want... what the people want. <laughs> when you told me there was going to be a Lol Cow podcast, it was going to be Boogie and Wings so easy. being fat and retarded and saying insane things. I was yeah. like, all right. And then every time I go to tune into it, it's Keemstar going, oh, did you guys hear about this internet drama bullshit thing that I'm caught He's like up doing in? his show to only those two guys. Yeah. It's terrible. And I'm like, this sucks. Just yeah, those are my those favorite, guys my favorite podcast. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, listen. I don't like the Low Cow podcast personally. I've watched a couple of episodes. Some of the drama's been okay out of it. Bit embellished at times or whatever, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Get Josh, get fucking Josh Moon on. I think some people do like it. Some people enjoy it and get a kick out of it. I mean, you know, now it's settled down. I think it gets like 30,000 views an episode or something like that. Hey, Reynold Hughes, thank you for the membership. I think a part of the problem is Keem kind of misses doing the Keemstar show and tries to take over the podcast because of that, yeah. 
Latest low cow live episode was uploaded in 720p. Caster oh. podcast about podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then and then funny enough, the one person who said out to do that is the only one who does it well. Yeah. Which is Carl. He's like, well, Carl's what if I just it. what if I just say that my podcast is about podcasts? Yeah. And then it's, it's like that's the format, <laughs> and it's fine. But so, then everyone else just does that, and it's plagiarist it's and awful. Yeah. So Keemstar, first of all, burned your great content that you had prepared for the show, ruined a good bit. Then he shit. He asked you to do more work than you want. You were supposed to do, and you did it. And then he shit on that as well. Yeah. Yep. And you set him and, straight, and basically said, "Well, I gave you a lot of good content, but you fucked it up, and it's and you your got fault." Fired for that? Yeah. Well, so what happened was I, I wasn't around while they were live. I was. You know, I just I missed his call. He tried to call me on the stream to complain to me about how bad it was. Yeah. But I got home later. You know, I, I saw that he was complaining about how bad it was. So I went on a. Is he like thinking stream. Howard Stern? He's gonna like call you I, up and have like a <laughs> drama. Like a Howard Stern argument. never actually fired anybody though. That's why it worked. It was funny when yeah. Howard Stern shit on the other people because you're like, well, yeah, he's not gonna fire him. You yeah. know. He's, he's paying goof. them like a living wage. And he was funny when he goofed on them. Keem is not funny when he goofs on people because he's not actually goofing around. He's actually going, I'm a once-in-a-lifetime genius. He and actually everybody fired should... Salvo. Yeah. It's not funny when you're actually no. firing people. Right, yeah. So who's so going to edit the fucking show for him now? Well, he's got a new guy with his new uh, little UFO company, I guess. It's his... Actually, that is... A... Why, did, why did Keem start call in, I guess? Well, I guess he was talking shit publicly. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, I've got some rate reviews to get to, so we will get to that in a minute. We'll watch a bit more of this first, but uh, psh, dude, no, the Connor has fucked himself. What what's Connor's deal? Didn't you do something with Augie before on RSC? What's uh? Unless he unless unless he comes back, he's probably going to be a bit screwed here, isn't he? I don't know what his situation is. Does he not rely on income from editing on for internet shows? Are they roommates? Oh, okay. Because who would who would want him? Connor wasn't a big part of After Hours. That's just reminding me, actually, right? I saw someone shared a post, and it was like, all he needs to come back, everyone else sucks. Nicholas is fat, this person's this, that person's that. And the criticism of me was that I'm ugly. <laughs> Are people really not watching me because I'm ugly? Is that what's going on here? Maybe I need to trans myself in order to get more viewers, make myself more attractive that way, perhaps. Although you can't really polish a turd. That's the problem. I think that somewhere there is actually an image which uh, maybe gives you an idea. Of what I'm all about. If I trans, that is. UFO it. company's editor. That's the guy who's editing now. Uh, the the, the so dark money behind the world of podcasting <laughs> is so interesting to me because it is always like uh, this guy has like a, a solar power generator company and he's like, oh, so all yeah. these guys that parade around like they're internet millionaires, they all have some weird backer. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Where yeah. it's like this, it's it's sort of like Israel sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah. Sort of, but it's like the internet equivalent of a girl who's taking all these Instagram pictures in Dubai and you're like, where's the greasy Greek looking veto? Where's the one with the shit all over you? What is this? Queen, Yas, Shut Up, Efsler. Is that a package of ketamine? <laughs> the girls that get it, get it, and the ones that don't, don't. What is going on with you guys? You guys have lost it, haven't you? Wasn't there a Muslim one as well that I saw? No, there was one where it was just like a transition picture of me. This isn't even what I'm looking for, but <laughs> what, dude? You guys have fucking gone insane. I'm scrolling up, but I can't see it. I don't know. It's just crazy images of me as a sort of like transgendered whore. <laughs> okay, I can't find it. I can't find it. Fuck it. Forget it. I look. I look beautiful. I looked absolutely fucking beautiful, though. Let it be known that I look stunning in my transition photo. I would. I would. 
internet. paying for everything. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and all these internet guys like Keem and all these other dudes, like, there's always a guy who's like, he, he has an uh, anti-energy weapon uh, satellite system, that, he, and he lives off the grid in Mexico, and yeah. he's, his pro- he's the primary investor in this podcast. All these shows who will shit on shows for the size of their following have some weird dark money behind them. There's a lot of dark money in podcasts. Yeah. Well, it is. Well, speaking, of, speaking of dark money, if you, if you do the math, actually, you can see. So he said he'd take a cut after 10K, right? Yeah. So you take my 2K out, that's 8,000 between the cows. Well, when Keemstar wants to take his fourth, that means he's taking exactly $666 from each of the cows. So I heard that, that Boogie well. was only making, devil. someone told me Boogie's only making like 2K a month. Is that true? Or is he getting like 3K then? Yeah, no, it's 2K because he keeps starts 2K, taking his 2K, 2K, Tommy C yeah. gets an equal share. Yep, all of them get 2K. Okay. So and you were making as much as the hosts? Yep. Yeah, but he's doing, honestly, honestly, would he's you doing have the most editor, work, though. though. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that's not sustainable. Nothing about well, that show they is don't, sustainable. I hate to say it, but, like, Keem is uh, micromanaging that. Wait, 2K a month for Boogie's great. He just has to turn up for a few hours a week and talk his shit. Keem is a J-boy. Stylo, dude, your anti-Semitism is out of control. I don't think Keemstar is Jewish. No, okay? That thing way too hard. For two grand? Because, Connor, like, uh, I, I love you, but he does not need a guy to go in and edit all the swears out of every episode. It's a waste of <laughs> your time and his. I agree. I mean, I would like to not do that. It's less work for me, right? Yeah, I mean, he should be paying well, you to I do clips. You, but you know- Wait. So this guy is claiming to work full-time hours. He's working, what, 20 hours, probably 20, maybe 25 hours a week. And uh, he wants less work. <laughs> I mean, I agree that editing the swears out is stupid. You don't need to do that. But, um, yeah. You don't have to do any of it anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you're going to be fine now. I don't know if yeah. anyone's told you, but... Who yeah. wants to watch like with all the swears edited out of it? That sounds terrible. It would be so distracting. Yeah, it's like, look distracting. at these... Uh, and that, like, Mr. Falcon. Over That's actually over. how it goes, yeah, yeah. How it's much of a micromanagement... Now, I've experienced Keem's micromanagement on some level. I'm wondering how much uh, you felt micromanaged. Like, was he watching every question. edit and coming in and saying, you got to change this, you got to change this? Or was, okay, he more, well, was he more hands-off, actually? Well, I'll tell you this. It started off like that for sure. He was yeah. micromanaging me immediately at the beginning. But then he got really upset at the show. He didn't like it. So he took it back off, and he pushed the work of micromanaging me onto Tommy C. Uh, so Tommy C has been the one who's been managing me. Uh, and so, yeah, Keemstar, he got he got bored, I guess. What I've heard, work. delegated micromanagement yeah. is really the cuntiest move <laughs> of all time. Yeah. Make sure I like this. Uh, <laughs> make sure I like this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, it just it feels like people are really missing the point here that, like, it's Keemstar's show, all things considered. Like, it is his thing. He came up with the concept, and he made it happen and brought it together. So he can delegate whatever the fuck he wants. No? <laughs> oh, man. Well, it, it just feel, it feels like we're just disregarding the fact that it is Keemstar's show. The J Boy Keemstar. <laughs> yeah, I've heard some talk of uh, that. And I, I talked with Boogie and I said, well, Keem's insane because, because here's okay. the thing about doing a podcast. You kind of got to accept the first 10 episodes or so. You're finding your footing, you're figuring out yeah. what works. Right. Uh, you're finding a rhythm. You said first hundred, right? Well, yeah, honestly, yeah, exactly. yeah, it takes a while. Some podcasts go for a while. Just it's terrible, it's terrible, terrible, and then you figure out. Don't I know it? Yeah. If from day one you have a psychopath like Keemstar going, you got to get more laughs in there. We need more topical news. Blah blah. blah. It's like mm-hmm. just just do it naturally. Accept that it might be bad. It's not going to be good from day. I just like to see Keem squirm. Connor win for that. Yeah, sure. Talk your shit. Enjoy Keemstar. Get in fucking a bit of shit. Yeah, of course. Fill your boots. I just think people have got some really odd takes on this that that really disregards the kind of setup that seemingly exists for this show but yeah day one and uh find your footing do a bunch of test yeah, shows but their footing is just to. talking about fucking kids yeah anyway which is funny no one and wants should... to listen to that yeah, i want fat guys <laughs> wings and boogies talking about kids they want to bring fuck. on ralph no for it let ralph right? uh, let me bring up chuck dixon again it's not, really uh, show? <laughs> it's not, it's not that's what they would the probably show. maybe want to do well, they don't want to read a docket, right? So what else exactly. are they going to do? They're so just gonna... they gonna That's my do? choice. Kid fucking or docket? I mean, I don't yeah. like a script any more than the next guy. So but... Keem... did you ever talk to Boogie's girlfriend? Oh, no, unfortunately. No. That would have been uh, a crime for you as well. She escaped, right? Yeah, I from think the... she's on the loose still. Oh, thank God. So Keem basically <laughs> fired you because he's doing a bad job and he wanted to blame it on you for some reason. Well, there's a little bit more like so after the whole thing. <laughs> they, they, I mean, look, it's... Talk your shit. But clearly, these guys fucking hate Keemstar. 
so of course it's going to be a problem the biggest problem some might say that uh you know i mean it's stylo listen i recognize now that you worship the fucking ground these guys walk on okay and that's okay that's all right i accept it now all right and i don't even have a problem with them talking their shit all right i'm not even pit i've got no fucking dog in the race in any of this okay i'm literally like a f whatever it doesn't matter mean anything whatever it doesn't matter okay they are funny yes and they can talk their shit but what I'm trying to get across to you is that this guy running straight to this show, he would work Vito's fields given any opportunity. <laughs> Obviously, it's a problem. This guy's gone straight to these guys when they fucking hate the guy that's just fired him, right? Hence why Keemstar's talking about like, oh, it's just proving my point by going on this show. And, you know, he's just fucked himself over. Let me ask you a question. If you ran a YouTube channel, would you hire Connor? Would you want to have Connor on board? But bearing in mind everything that's happened with this. Can we, Queenman would, Queenman would hire Maddox as next Jewish lawyer. You guys are fucking need to chill out, okay? You're turning this into the little gay fucking into the blacks versus the Jews, okay? <laughs> thing happened after the whole thing happened, right? I, I, uh, I got home after the stream was done. I heard all the shit he talked. So I went on one of my friend's streams and I was like, have you seen what happened? You know, I started talking shit back because he talked shit to me. You know, mm. it is how it goes, right? You made, direct, right? You made content yeah. for the show and yeah, yeah, you exactly. were promoting the show yeah. outside of the show by getting people excited for the drama that was being generated. Right. Exactly. How yeah. dare anyway. you? You got fired <laughs> for that. <laughs> you got fired. Yeah. So, well, so he called in. Yeah. He called in to the live stream. You really got fired? You know, that's so fucked. I mean, that's like a lot of money for, that's rent. It's a mortgage. It's a good amount of money. And honestly, you were helping the show because I'm way more interested in this than Keemstar talking to a camera about stupid internet drama. I hope Boogie <laughs> sits on a fire hose by accident and then it turns on <laughs> and he fills up and explodes and his head pops. Like Willy Wonka? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they take him to the juicing room? Yeah. yeah I hope well, he gets, except when he gets juiced, his I have head like horses pops kick him in the stomach. So Keem came on while you were talking about what happened jelly. and generating outside content for the show on your own hours. And he was mad about that. I hope he falls yeah. down and escalates. No, come on. Can we stop the coat with this? Okay, this idea that he was being very giving and make he was fucking talking shit because he was annoyed about some shit. It wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm just doing it for the show. He was clearly pissed off and taking things too far. Anyway, I feel like I'm repeating myself at this point. I've actually got a Roblox rape review that I wanted to do. And we've we've been a bit short on rape reviews recently. Connor is a retard, he's coping. <laughs> 